cut news, even though you're not flipped around. Oh, I'll but, around you know, okay. you, you have it all printed. Oh, okay. But I don't. So okay. since I'm looking at it anyway, yeah. I can project it. George will be in for the um, beginning, like at 6, so that you can talk about the GMC with you all. Oh, oh, did you get some news? You got some news, but not enough news. I mean, you're going to have more questions. So. Okay. okay. Well, you know, I'm sure that they also don't want to put stuff out there either that says, you know, it will last this many years and not this many years. Or, you know, I mean, that's, I'm sure that they would, I don't know, they would consider it a liability or whatever. But oh, okay. I just. Yes. That's what I'm looking for. I printed everything for you, but since I'm working from my computer, I'm projecting. Okay. Um, did you see Miles is not attending today? No. Oh. He's not feeling well. I'm a kid, really. Yeah. Had a long week last week, huh? I did. Oh, you never made it? I was in bed most of last week. Oh, no. With what they tell me is just a cold, but I went to the doctors twice because I, I couldn't breathe. You know, and just this past, this Saturday, I went back to the doctor. Um, um, I thought I was going to pass up. I just, I stood up and I was faint. I felt faint. Like, okay, this is not normal. <laughs> Because <laughs> I, I actually, it was, it was funny because that was Saturday or Friday? Friday, sorry, Friday. Um, and that was the best I'd felt all week, but it was just it was awful. So, so I missed the four beautiful days of the uh, hotel. So everything under George is signed. Okay. You're only doing direct reports. So I try yeah. to make it so the ones on top are the ones you need to sign. Yes. And everything under that should be a PD library. Yep. All right. right. Thank you.
George, what a time to cut all that hair off in this cold weather. I don't like it long in my, it's been real long until my wife decided it's finally time for a haircut. So I said, well, I've been asking for a month, so. <laughs> I don't mind it. truck for us? No, I don't have good news on the truck for you. Okay, all right. I can tell you what the value of the truck is as we sell it, I think we would sell it now. Okay. And uh, we can take 25% off that if you add another year to it. Okay. He said if we sell it outright, not yeah. trade it, yeah. we could probably get twenty to 22000 <clears throat> Okay. Not a lot of money, but better than a zero. Yeah. Is uh, he willing to buy it? Or? He's not willing. He's, okay. not, he's not in that to buy part of it. He said he could probably find a buyer for it. I have a, okay. I have a trailer park that might be interested in it. Okay. That would be an ideal piece of equipment for a trailer park because okay. of the situation that truck is in. All right, so if we were going to consider that, he would either help facilitate for the sale or he you could probably help us find a buyer. Or, okay. or, you know, or we could advertise it. Is, uh, right. So, what did he say about the truck? The truck, he, the same thing that everybody else has been saying. He, uh, he didn't write a big inspection thing on it, the visual inspection of the truck, the gear and current condition, and the feel of the value. He only gave us the value on it. He can't tell us if it's going to last more than we can tell. He doesn't have a crystal ball either. Uh, to be honest with you, the truck is not safe. I mean, I drove that truck today myself. I plowed with it today. You don't know if you're going to stop if you have a full load on it. And that's to me, is not a, piece, a safe piece of equipment. If you're not planning your stops, if someone ran out in front of you with a full load of sand, uh, salt, and the plows on it, the light will have taken out. I mean, it's mechanical brakes on that truck. And, and basically, the truck, it does not, you know, it's not built for it. It is. That's exactly what he said. This truck is overbuilt. I mean, I'm looking at a truck that's designed for what it is, 
built bigger than that, and it holds the GVW better, and it's got a cast aside dump body on it. Okay. So, do you have to have the sander in it to do a plow? No, but you have to sand it in anyway to put weight. Without weight, but wait, you, you put sand in it without the unit. The unit, the unit doesn't even hold, hold as much as the dump body does. So That's what's the weight? What what you're saying it, it's it's too small for its weight. Well, what is the weight well, then? The, the GVW for that truck's twenty six thousand pounds. Okay. You have the plow gear on it, which I can't tell you exactly. I could get a weight on that truck, and I'll guarantee you with the fully loaded salt, the sander, the plows on it, that thing will be about well over twenty six thousand. Okay. And that puts it. Actually, illegal for somebody without a CDL to be driving it, but that's the way it's been designed to use. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, when you're hauling, like, it's the big truck, it hauls 24,000 pounds. So, I mean, it's, it's not the same size, but the dump body on the big truck is the same size truck body that's on this small truck. And that's not the way those trucks are designed. You know, they, they got a big, the sander in it holds about half of what the dump body does. So, but you still have the weight of the sander, so you well, equal mm -hmm. by the time you get the final picture. I don't honestly think the truck will. I mean, we had issues making those two, and with this three or four, the five inches of snow we had, we had to break the road open with a smaller truck so he can go up through it with the snow because he couldn't make the road. Even with just two inches of snow, I mean, it was, it was, it was wet snow. snow though, yeah. And I mean, there's no traction, and I'm just, you know, the truck is not. Unfortunately, that truck should not have been built the way it was. And I, you know, the truck is was due to be replaced last year. I thought it would make another year, which we got the other year out of it. I can't tell you if it's going to make another year. We had to use either the start the other day. I mean, that's the first time that's happened. It's not, it's, that Mike says it doesn't seem to have the power it used to have. I, I don't know, if, you know, with how long it's going to last. I don't know when the brake line's going to let go. I mean, it's mechanical brakes. You take hydraulic lines so the transmission lines let go because of rust. It's just a matter of time, you know, you start putting that kind of pressure on these the brakes to stop that truck, it's gonna something's gonna let go eventually. I, I'm not an expert mechanic. I'm just telling you, I've been driving trucks all my life, and that truck is not, you know, it's not built for what it should be what it, it's doing more than what that truck is built for. I understand this budget to be passed. I understand, you know, this. If you want to take the other thing out, I believe the sidewalks still need to be taken care of. But, you know, uh, I've just given you what I feel we need to get, you know, what we need. The problem is, it's not even the budget, it's, it's going to become its own warrant, right? Yeah. So, I mean, it's still at risk, even if we say exactly. yes. Exactly. So, and I'm I, not sure what we will do then. No, and, and, and the same thing it is, you know, it's up to the vote. I understand that. So, if it doesn't pass, you'll have to make do. I mean, if the truck blows up this one, what do we do? Put it on the side of the road? Still gonna have to get through this year anyway. Right? Hey, we will get. We, can, we will. We can get through the winter without a doubt. We, we've made some alternative. You know, we made the back over, able to put a plow and stuff on it if we have breakdown, so we can use it. Yeah. We have just, temporary measures in place just in case. Right. We have a backup. And we got a backup plan. All right. So we were due to replace this last year. We put it off. We have a hundred and. 54.4 in the CIP dedicated to this truck. And we have what? We believe 20,000 in offsetting revenue for the sale of the current vehicle. Yeah, I mean, you're still going through another winter before you even decide to do anything. No, no, I know, George. And I'm not upset at you. You didn't design the truck. You didn't, we didn't buy the truck. Right. We're, just, you know, we're just trying to deal with the truck. So, all right, well, if we were supposed to buy it last year. But if we, if, why, why would we not consider trading it? No, I think we're going to. Oh, okay. Is what I'm going to say. I mean, I, I, mean, I have I, been very I, hesitant all along, but. The trade-in on it is 10000 Where you're going. Oh, if, if we traded it in, it was ten. but if we could sell it outright. You sell it outright, right, you're going to get more money, and that's no matter where you go. And then not you have to you. deal with it. And it's then true. you have to finance or whatever you're going to do with the full value of the truck right now. Either way. 
and it's just going to offset the bottom line of the budget, not the track. Consider also how you might write a warrant article, because if you're trading it in, you don't really know the value of what you're spending, because you, unless you're going to get an agreement six months or ten months or something ahead of time from a dealer, you don't know what you're writing a warrant article mm -hmm. for. Right. Mm -hmm. I would say we're going to do it for the full amount. At the hundred, what I would suggest is we would do a hundred for up to one hundred sixty-five thousand dollars, with one hundred and fifty-four four coming out of the capital improvement reserve fund, with the remaining to be taken either through trade or direct taxation. I guess is how you would have to say it, or something a little more articulate than that. I guess. Mm -hmm. Not to be confused with an articulated look. <laughs> Which we will not be buying this year, George. Yeah. Sorry. Hey, but I, I, I understand. <laughs> and I know it's, I, I mean, it's my, always a juggling act. It, everyone, you know, one year is good for one department. It right. seems like in next year is, next several years, it's not. So, I mean, I get it. It's, you know, I, I, that's why, I mean, I looked at alternative payments and stuff like that, and, which I understand it does cost more to do that. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate you doing, looking for that. I really do. But I... I think if we're hesitant to pay 165, we really don't want to spend 190. You know, so if we can help it. And it's right. also just too many years, too. Exactly. So what do you think, Denise? We'll, we'll keep it on for put it on the warrant for. I mean, it's, uh, it has to be a standalone warrant article, anyways. Even if it was going to a traditional town meeting, it would be. So. Yeah, but you know, um, when it's a CIP. Um, Will you put on there funded by this amount this from the amount CIP? That is part. Yep. That's part of it. Mm -hmm. So then, then, like you say, the taxation so part is only going to be this amount. Yes, and I'll and ask the DRA about whether yeah. or not we can work the trade in there in some way. I'm not yeah. sure how you write that with language, given you don't know how much really you get for the trade. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you could at least say between ten and twenty or whatever. Could you say that? Well, probably not, because you don't know. Because you have another whole year that you have to have you that truck, what, you and you have no idea what the conditions are going to be then. You just hope that it's all going to be okay. I mean, we're plowing snow in the river. We weren't expecting that either. Mm -hmm. You know why? People put the damn hollow Christmas decorations out early. <laughs> they jinxed us. Yeah, like in June. Yeah. <laughs> I go buy one more house with Christmas lights on. <laughs> and knock on the Mine door. Mine are on. And a bush. Issuing two new shovels on the way out tonight. All you have to do is go to the big stores. They're ready to start spreading nah, stuff out in September. All right, Joe, so... We forget about Thanksgiving. Last year, no. to see if the town will vote and raise to appropriate the sum of $12,000 for purchasing a roadside mowing attachment for the Rollinsford Highway Department to further to authorize withdrawal of 12000 out of the Capital Improvement Fund okay. established for this purpose. So okay. it would be similar. Similar. With, and, yeah. with the rem and then I think we don't have one on here where it's... The remainder to come from taxation. Yeah, I mean, it's been like that in the past. So yeah, we can find out what yeah. the taxation is right. going to be. So that no, but, but it's possible. So yeah. Yeah. it's just it, 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 it's also possible that next year when you put this truck up to bid, or if you want to go bid, we can check around and get a lower price. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, there's still that other option. What goes down on that type of equipment year after year? No, but year. international <laughs> is coming out with a new truck in the spring. Oh. Whether it's going to be cheaper than the one we're looking at. Yeah. What do we have now? What is it? It's a GMC, GMC right now. And GMC and International are actually pairing up to make a smaller version of oh, the really? big trucks with air brakes and well, making it. We're not going down that road again, right? We're not going down the road without air brakes. Well, no, with a smaller version. Oh, well, yeah. That's what you want. But you just don't want. Just don't want to own. You want the truck built properly. Oh. They make them the right way. It's oh, just, okay. It was built on a certain type of frame and outfitted a certain way, so someone who doesn't have a CDL could drive it, right? Well, actually, you don't need big, big trucks in town because the road's not big. Enough. Right. Right. A truck with a wing you do need, but you need a smaller version of the bigger truck. Mm -hmm. But one that's built properly. Okie dokie. Yeah, I mean. All right. Nature of beast. Uh, it, it, so we, there was three towns around here that bought at the same time. This town bought, but they bought the small, the, equipped the right way, four-wheel drive, smaller plows, I mean smaller dump body. And was that this for new? Sale? Yeah, no, right? Are they selling? <laughs> this um, this new um, 
This new vehicle will will it require a CDL to drive? Nope. It won't. Okay, well there's that too then. Good. That's a bit of a conference both at the same time. Okay. Alrighty. So we'll keep um, the truck on at one sixty five for this year then. And we're gonna take off um, we're gonna keep the uh, the loader at for twenty twenty with putting well, that might be a well we may even push yeah. it just for now. Yeah. We can push it off if we need to look at it again next mm -hmm. year, but but putting it aside eleven thousand for it this year. That's what we have currently. MCIP it says we have eleven thousand. Or did we take that from the I think we took it from the Bobcat. Yes, we took it from the Bobcat because we have okay. so anything yet. Okay. So that does have That's fine. 000. So at least yeah. we're, we're putting some offset in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so then we have uh, all right. So we're going to um, we're going to so we're include that. Put it right. in the police car. That's twenty five. Portable radios at sixty five. I mean, uh, when I say we are going to do, we're going to place on the war. The voters are going to tell us what to do or not. So we're going to make the suggestion, and they can decide whether or not they think it's reasonable. Or not. How do we explain it to them? I think that's kind of. And the boiler is that? Did we ever hear back from Bob about? Um, no. Um, no. So twenty-five is our best guess. With that, it's still if you if it's easier to see it there. I know it's still blurry, but it's at least no, it's not. the list okay. from it's okay. So um, the last time you met, it was the boiler for twenty five, yep. the radios for sixty five, mm -hmm. yep. cruiser twenty five, um, highway truck tentatively for one sixty five, and yep. message board for twenty three eight. And the message board half of it's coming from grant. A grant, right? Okay. Yes. So the offset for all of so that's a total of three hundred three thousand eight hundred dollars. The offset is two hundred twenty one thousand three hundred. So the taxation amount to fund all of those would be eighty two thousand five hundred. Yeah. Okay. So that's the CIP. And if there are any other additions? We can we can then now we can move around. Um, Dollar amount, so like we, we already talked about, mm -hmm. so it's a. You, you would you know, please do that so that we can know how much we're going to have to fund. Yes. Alright, so do that right now. So, so what? Bob said that that message board was, it had to be for 19. Wow, it doesn't have to be. No, we can say no. No. So the question is, the risk is losing so, the grant. Right. Because he probably already has that. And, and you process. don't know, well, and whether or not he does, you don't know whether or not it would be available again next year. Exactly. Right. And tap. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, what do we do? So, what do we do now? We borrow? Yes. Yeah. From the um, Multiple county cases. and some of those things. Yeah. But one of the departments wasn't working. Work. One of the, I don't know. One of the, one of the places he was borrowing it from, it was not working, so he, there was Which no resource. Which is diminishing his ability to have it, mm -hmm. yes. All right, well, this is what I know. People were always complaining about people driving fast on their road. And they always want the police to show up one of those signs telling them how fast they're going so people will slow down. So we'll leave it to the voters if they want to buy it or not. Mm -hmm. do what I suggest. Uh, all right, so... So, would you like to go up top and see? Yeah. Um, the generator is in there, but without an amount of money for a year. I, I assume that's because we're going to revisit it as a placeholder until next year. Yeah, I, mean, I, I want to hear. Um, They're going to go forward with the station, just telling you. They would like to go forward with the station. Okay, so you're going to give us an update on that. So, we okay. don't probably need to put money into. Uh, well, you know, this year. Well, you know, there's several things that you wouldn't have to do based on that. But if you chose to, if it didn't pass, you, you have funding for those projects. That's and if true. it did pass, then you could reallocate those funds for other projects. That's true. Yes. Yes, that's true. Um, you can keep up the CIP, yeah. yeah. Right. 
Right. And just move it around. Yeah. 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 All right. All right, so what do we have? We have town administration, police facility at 30, because that's the same up there, right? Yeah. Yes. For 35. So a total of 40 in the um, general government section. Police, we have the uh, message sign and then some money for um, a vehicle, that's the same money. Right? So that's 48.8, right? I can't, it's too fuzzy up there, but I can actually see it. That's okay, that's so. okay. So we have 23.8, yes, for this year for the message board. All right, so we're, we're currently, on uh, my page, I think it was at 179.4, right? What do you have for the bottom line, Caroline? Um, yes, 179. Where did we do last year? 179.4. Last year, I think it was... Um, 180. Well, right. So, you know, again, I haven't put balances in for this year for what we've actually spent for things that passed this year. So, you know, our balance is actually a little bit more than what it projects there. So the uh, the ten six for the truck. Yes. If we don't put the 10 6 in, then we obviously don't have 154.4 in the CIP. Am I understanding that correctly? Well, so you could put. Um, so you, you can add the 10 6 to the Warren article to fund the CIP and then take the whole truck out of CIP. And yeah. it's, it's a wash. Mm -hmm. Or you can delete that 10-6 and do 10-6 by taxation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What I'm saying, if we, can re if we do, um, all right. Because really, this 179-4, yeah. um, that's going into the CIP, but you're still, you know, we have these net amounts, 2019 right. net amounts, so that's mm -hmm. going to get subtracted from right. the 179. Right. Right. Year, but you have a lot of unfunded things, or you could spread payments out more. Right. Okay. Okay. It's just part of the budget right now. For and example, the digital fingerprinting system is right. going to cost twenty thousand dollars. You could right. put ten in this year and then ten next year if you're really going to purchase it next year. Mm -hmm. Another grant opportunity, you said. So. Possibly, yeah. Possibly. Yeah. Or put fives, you know, away if you're going to get a grant so that you're not yeah. taking it completely out of CIP. Yeah. You know, whatever you put in CIP you can reallocate right. to something else. If you have offsetting. Yeah. There are different priorities. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, when is the first meeting of the uh, budget committee? Next Wednesday. It's next Wednesday, mm -hmm. right? Next Wednesday, right? I mean, we have a form tonight. We can approve this. It's set the budget tonight. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But I, mean, I, I hate to. Well, we're not. Um, CFE's done on next Wednesday. No, no, but I'm well, we can um, we can finalize the budget tonight if we, mm -hmm. if we wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, or we can wait till next week to give Miles the opportunity. To weigh in if you want. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter to me. I'd like to be fair to them, but I also understand that the colds this year, the so the doctor told me in the last two to three weeks, aren't we all lucky? <laughs> so he may not have to even be here next week. So it's going to be a miserable week for him, unfortunately. But um, I'm good with the way it is right now.
Just okay. leaving it the way it is right now. <laughs> if we could get it to, to be level with last year, it would be even better, but it's close. It's very close. But my goal is to keep the what we're putting into the CIP consistent yes. as close as possible. Yes, but it's gonna the amount is gonna have to increase if, if the goal is hands. to um, always fund completely from CIP. I know, and that's not the that's not the goal. Okay. To always be able to do that. It's to be able to plan ahead as much as possible and, and take out. In a perfect world, of, yeah, we would be able to work. That has not been the practice in the past. So I think we're trying to get towards that, and I, I understand what you're saying. So. So next, the, the 2020 is going to be another year we need to push out again. Besides that, bubble out a little bit. So. But, all right, so we're good with CIP for now. Then, one look at ripple time is one look at revenues in the next mm -hmm. 10 minutes, and then we can come back to them. Okay, so the, I printed out the. You're out of book tour, <laughs> so thank you. Um, I printed out the 434 so that you can see what you approved only a few weeks ago yeah. for this year. Um, that gives you the categories for the RA. Separate to that, I printed out revenue and expenses year to date. Yeah. Current to today includes the checks that you're approving tonight. Um, but the beginning part of that is revenue. Um, revenue is not exactly in the same categories. Um, the other thing to note is there are budget figures in that spreadsheet, but they do not reflect the rebudgeting. In right, right. Right. So it's really just value. For, and there's, there are no budget figures really for income anyway because the, the categories don't correlate. Right, but right. Um, it at least allows you to see year to date. <coughs> the rebudgeting is the same as your other your actuals anyway. It just moved around a little bit. Right, I mean, right? Well, there, the second column there is is the budget that was approved oh, at the town meeting. Oh, I see. Okay. So, in a perfect world, I'd really like to go back and edit those yep. Yep. so that you can get better reports. Right. right. But it's a time problem. Yep. yep. So we have. Uh, so we you know, let's look at. There's motor vehicle permit fees. So we heard from the clerk. Yes. Today, I think, or yesterday, whenever she sent the email, that she believes that revenue will be static for uh, 2019. Yes. Right? Yes. All right. Where are we? Um, it's right in front of me. I know this might on the page. It's a bit of a hunting. I know. If you look at the categories that stick out a little bit on the left, um, they can help you a little bit. It's, it goes down. Did you go down here from the um, cell phone? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> but you already claimed it this year in setting the tax rate. So I know. we're not going to, yeah. yeah. I just did so we had, um, so year to date, with the 566. We're hoping by the end of the year we'll have 650. Yes. Okay.
So um, we can extrapolate that out and get um, right. a monthly amount. Um, in which case she's projected to make almost 780, and rather 680, 679, 435 at the current rate. Mm -hmm. So then we're okay based on what's in there. Well, she cautioned that um, every year, um, right, the valuation of the vehicles go down, so the rate goes down slightly. So we've had a lot of new vehicles this year, mm -hmm. and for, I guess, the first, you know, next year, the rate will stay the same, but the year after, it'll go down. Mm -hmm. So theoretically, if you've got a lot of vehicles, new vehicles yeah. this year, fewer people will have new vehicles yeah. next year. Yeah. But at least the new vehicles already registered will still be at that higher rate. So which is why she, year. Right, which yeah. is why she thinks we're okay for next year. Mm -hmm. I think it would be safer to keep it at 650 then and not go higher. I don't want to see happen is have us what we run into with the um, with the, the details. Um, we have um, overestimated from what we're bringing in this year, so right. I don't. I'm hoping to avoid that as much as possible. For it's coming here. I think we all. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to keep it at 650. I don't want to go higher than that. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest one I want to talk about. I mean, there are obviously, I want to go through a line by line, but I know that she sent that email today, so do um, you want to start going through? I've only got a couple more minutes. Going through, um, let's go through the first section under taxes. So land use change tax. I don't anticipate any change there. Um, what did we see? We had an email about something that didn't um, get changed. Robert's road. Yeah. Um, there's a new house in Roberts Road, and that, yeah. that didn't get switched, and so... It needs to. Yes. Is well... That, is that the one that just got Yes. Built? He was built. waiting for, for it to <coughs> get finished, for him to determine that he wasn't going to take any more land out of current use, he says, which is why he hasn't done it yet, but um, he needs a follow-up yep. for that. Um, so something to keep in mind with the land use change tax is that we had rather a lot this year, I, and, and I, we don't have the bill yet for that, so we don't know what that's going to be this year. Mm -hmm. That's a result of the revaluation and land values went up, so more people put their land in current use. Mm -hmm. It should not, um, I don't know that there's a reason to believe that more people are going to be taking the land out, out of current use, unless they're going to develop it. So 20 might be too high. Um, unless, it, it's, you know, it's a gamble, because right. if if one of those big swaths of land goes up for development, then that would be, be a lot more than that. That would be a lot more than that. I mean, do we have anything besides this revenues from the years past, two or three years past? Um, I can, if you want to give me some lines to work on a projection, I can try. Sometimes QuickBooks is really not very helpful in giving me. Well, that's historical not, data. Yeah. So, um, but we can at least look through that report through right. prior years, and I can I can send those. I mean, some, of, <coughs> excuse me. Some of these are, are out of our control, like the uh, um, rooms and meals tax from the state. Mm -hmm. All the state sources are out of our control. Mm -hmm. So, but it would be nice to look at um, uh, the, also what to consider with the residence tax. If there is a petition, one article to do away with the residence tax. We could be looking at uh, zero and having to zero that out too. So, uh, what do we do if we, let's just say we, we, we budget, we estimate that it's going to bring in another 13000 And it's eliminated so, after town meeting. Then, um, around, the, so right before town meeting or sometime in the beginning of the year, we're going to file reports with the Department of Revenue about um, the proposed budget, what budget actually passes. That will okay. include revenue. Okay. 
So, so they'll get the report, right away. Yes. Yeah. And then there's the revised estimated revenue report that you got, you all just did in September, due September mm -hmm. 1st. Right. So you'll do that again next year. So they will get more accurate information before the next tax rate. Okay. Okay. That's why. Then it would be taxation versus having the revenue source if yeah. it doesn't pass. It'll all work itself out. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, let's shift this a little past six days. So let's shift gears for a few minutes. I think we'll. I think that some of this we're going to be able to get through quickly. Some of it we're going to have a more detailed conversation on. But, um, anyway, so we may be able to go back and do the budget workshops. I'd like to work on revenues. Do you mind waiting on just a little bit? Um, I want to get to the department yeah. real quick. Okay, so we'll call to order the November 19th Rollins for Select Board meeting. Um, thank you all for coming. First order of business is the approval of minutes for November 3rd and November 5th. I don't recall having any edits. Mm -hmm. okay, so by consensus, we will adopt both of those. We need input. Have something to discuss with the board now? I do. Is this the appropriate time? Yeah. Come right up. Excellent. Thank you. Yep. My name is Amber Ruby. I know several of you in the room, but not everybody. Um, I had some inquiries about the new ordinance regarding um, dumpsters for houses that have four units or more. Um, I had um, gratefully received a copy of the ordinance from the town, yep. um, but then I heard some contradicting information that it's more than four it units. It is more than four. It is, okay. Well, when one of my tenants came down, I, I, I have a four-unit building, and I rent out three of my units. I live in it. I've lived in it for 22 years. Um, but when one of my tenants came down some months ago, um, they were turned away. Right. And I've been negligent in getting here on a Monday night for various reasons, but um, I, I wanted to come and just clean some information from you. I think we, I think we may have resolved it with okay. the town clerk. Uh, but you may tell me something different. I don't know if you've got your tenants are still having an issue. I don't know, but Did they, they not should be. Back down? They should be able they to get one because I, I've been taking the oh. trash every week. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so I, I haven't put them in that position because um, I didn't. Do my due diligence in, in coming and speaking with you to find out the information. Yeah, so, all right, I'll send them back down more than four. Lease. Okay. Yeah. We, uh, when we were um, working on the ordinance, we were working on the understanding that it was four or more. Mm -hmm. It was, we were wrong. <laughs> I mean, we, we, several of us looked at it, so and sure. it's, we had hearings on it, and then we still thought it was four or more. Sure. And no, <clears> it was more than four. So well, I certainly applaud the effort, and I understand the reasoning behind all of it. Mm -hmm. Sadly, it would have landed a dumpster on my front lawn right in front of my house, so yes. I didn't want that. Mm -hmm. I could have avoided it. I understand it. that, yeah. Okay. That's no, no business. Just tell them to come, okay. come down. They should be all set. Oh, thank you. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm having a good night so far. <laughs> we aim to please when we can, I guess. Thank you so have much. Nice all right, have I appreciate good that. Good to see you. Anyone else? All right, we're going to move into department heads. So, um... Actually, no, we're not. We're going to call the, um, I'm going to go in order. I already skipped out of order once. See, I told okay. you if we didn't move it up to the top, I'd forget it. Yes. So okay. we have, um, the, uh, Caroline has some information on the bookkeeper clerical support application. So, on the striving strategy. Yes. So I, I sent this in an email, and I'm not sure if you've had enough time to digest this, but I, I laid the figures out in the email so that you could think about it. Um, I'm concerned about spending time in evaluating applications um, when the budget hasn't passed. And I understand with the default budget it may be a challenge to continue <coughs> to find a new position and I don't want to put people off from an earnest approach in right. hiring somebody. So, um, so I reached out to an accounting firm, Temp Agency. Um, and they provided an hourly rate that was outrageous. Um, well, that is to say, um, not well, something we, that we would normally right. consider. Right. They're skilled um, people, so you pay for yes. skills. So you pay for skills, and then you pay for the administration of them hiring their own employees, and you pay for the luxury of hiring somebody who's qualified that you don't need to train. Okay. So, um, and so, yes, exactly. Right. So um, I worked out the math. For the proposed position, $16 an hour for 20 hours a week um, is $345 um, per week. That includes payroll taxes. 
Yeah. If you divide that amount by $27 an hour, and they brought the amount down to $26 an hour, yeah. but at $27 an hour, that funds 12.75 hours a week. Okay. So my request is 10 because I'm going to try to keep it to bookkeeping, which is the really the more pressing issue. So my request is for the board to consider hiring a 10 bookkeeper through the end of January, or at least the middle of January, through most of audit, the audit and the yeah. end of the year stuff. For 10 hours a week. And then wait till after town meeting. And then to we'll, we'll cease that whole operation, and then um, pending the approval of the budget, we post the position after town meeting. That's and the purpose, purpose is still to go forward with this and, have, I, and everything. Yes. Because, yeah, I yes. It is going to be rather difficult to, if we if we don't if we go the route that we were envisioning originally, and we're thinking about this a little bit, um, to hire someone and train them, and then let them go. Um, so if we get through the, the the biggest piece right now is the uh, end of the year and the audit, mm -hmm. if we get through that. Which is not to say we won't still sense. have issues. We're going to have a lot of I understand that, issues but still. But it's, it's the, you know, we, we've got to get ready for audit above everything else. And it will help me to prepare for town meeting and working on the board and those things. And how soon can they get you somebody? Almost immediately. Almost immediately. Yeah. I would think by, you know, the beginning of next week at the earliest, at the, at the latest, yeah. I would think. All right. Just because it's, I mean, it's so uncertain about going forward. I don't want to hire somebody and have to make them go because things didn't work out. But, you know, right. I'm hoping it won't get me wrong. But I think so as well. But yeah, I'm really but I think that um, if we need to give her support so she can get through the audit, and I, I don't see any other okay. well, at this you, point. Well, we don't I'll have make anybody in that set. So you need a motion to, uh, I would love a motion. to hire someone through, what is the temp agent? Um, account temps. Okay. I make a motion to hire, what, what, how many you said, 10 hours? 10 hours a week. 10 hours a week um, from account temps, attempt to uh, assist in bookkeeping, reporting of accounts. Yeah, I'll second that. So that's for, through? Oh, I'm sorry, through, um, did we say February? What did you say? The end of January. All right, end of January. Can you modify that motion for me there? Let's see. Thank you. All right, so the motion is to um, authorize to Caroline to hire someone through account temps, uh, to have someone on board immediately to help through end of year audit season by the, until the end of January. Yep. Okay, so we're clear on that? For 10 hours uh, a week. 10 hours a week. Yep. Right. Okay, 26 in there. Yes. Yeah, that's what the negotiator, yep. the rate we had to negotiate down through the temp agency. Yep. That's not going to be the rate that we hire a full time no. person. No. No. Uh, okay, so all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. We have to mention Mr. England is under the weather this evening. He won't be joining us. So Thank you. Did you, want me to, did you want to revisit the revisit budget? I would later. like to work on the revenue just a little bit. Okay. I think we're going to be able to get there. Okay. We had, did you have any business, ma'am? or? I beg your pardon? Do you have something, some community business for the select board, or? I, yeah, I have a request about uh, an issue with... Sure, come on up. Hi, my name is Peg Keogh, and I live on Pitsy Wellness Road. And uh, I, re I recently received my tax bill a couple days ago. And there was an item called inventory penalty, and I phoned in to request... Uh, explanation of it, and uh, the tax collector told me that it has to do with she did not have my inventory, right. and I sent it in, this is my copy from my file, yep. including I, um, uh, along with a self-addressed stamp envelope for the receipt to be returned to me. Yep. Anyway, she said I would have to come and speak to you about it. Okay. And I was wondering if you would uh, consider instructing me to waive this or whatever before I pay it. Sure. That would be stupid to mm -hmm. 
And by the way, there is no change in the, in the inventory at that residence. In the, uh, you know, the group that came to uh, reassess were there sometime during the year and had a chat with me about the property. Sure, and for I, the revaluation. Sure. Yeah, and I gave them a couple of corrections. Like, for instance, it was in the record it was showing as, as a four bedroom house, and it's not, it's, it's just a little three bedroom. What was the fee that they charged you? $41. Well, if you've already filed it, you certainly don't need to pay the, pay the fee. So, Carolyn, we're, can, I'll make a note. Okay. Did she have the copy that you have so she can make sure that there's something in there? I mean, if she said she doesn't have it. Can you she pulled, well, she ordered, I think, pulled this up. No, you know? like the copy that oh. you no, not yet. She said I had to speak to you. So, okay. So, but, so, make a, can, so if you pass it to the person right behind yeah. you, there, okay. she can make a copy of it for you tonight, and we can give it to the tax collector. And I'm a retired administrative services manager, so I always keep a copy of anything that I release. <laughs> well, it's probably good practice. Yes. Because every once in a while, I'm very things like this happen. Thank you. But um, but you obviously, you have your copy, so I can't imagine we wouldn't. Uh, well, and just as a point of reference, I want to tell you, every day there is confusion with mail. For instance, I have mail in my box today addressed to one number of 49 Rollins Road, okay? okay? And I also receive my, the bulk of my first class mail comes to P.O. Box in Dover. Okay. And there, once a month, I'm handing back them something that it's off, like, it's terrible. You know, I mean, it's in the neighborhood on the, the wall, but it's not mine. So I usually just hand it over. So it can happen. It's not sure. It happens often. Yeah. All right, so we'll, um, we'll make a note of that. Um, sure, go ahead. All right, I'll make a motion to, you said 50 rounds, right? 50 rounds. Right? Make a motion to remove our um, credit back to $41 for 50 rounds road for the Inventory penalty. Inventory penalty, um, and we will supply a copy that she sent in okay. with that. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right, so we'll take care of it for you tomorrow. Okay. You can pay your taxes for $49. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, too. And we do apologize if you're having to come down. What is that? Uh, no, that's Caroline's. Right, that's for this. Yeah. Okay, so, um, so we're community business. Okay, so um, we've taken care of the bookkeeper, clerical, and input department heads. Building inspector is not going to be here this evening, but somewhere down here lower, right, we have a junkyard, do we? Junkyard license. Is it on, under town administration, Caroline? Mm -hmm. I'm just no missing building it. Building it's under the building inspector. Okay, so we'll revisit it then. I'm gonna. I don't want to make the uh, George and Bob wait while we have that conversation, but we will come back to that. Um, George, you want to come? Highway. Do you have any videos for us? Yeah, I get a couple of videos. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Purchase order 1494 for Belmore Catch Basin Maintenance for the cleaning of the catch basins for $3,500. And what, what is this going against? What, I don't know what the number is. Do you know? Oh, that's... Is it like a maintenance account? Yeah, that's the okay. catch basin. There's, oh, and there's a not just, just for that. that. Yeah. Okay, there you go. I'll second that. Okay, so purchase order 1494 has been moved and seconded for catch basin cleaning. Any discussion? All oh. Yep. Now, isn't this something that we have to keep because of stormwater? We have to yes. keep, and we yeah. get all that information yeah, from him? And it was very little, we were very little in the storm. I think we were going to be able to skip it again. 
Okay. But, but we do have they, to supply this. But did they give us the numbers of what they uh -huh. pulled out? It, yeah, I'll have. I'll, I, yeah. We have them. We got. We read every okay. song there. We cleaned out and went. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Thank All right. you. Um, good question. Mm -hmm. and, um, okay. So. Um, all those in favor of purchase order 1494 say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. And he said there was very little. Uh, res of course, we're not sanding roads, so it's. Yeah. That relief that eliminates a lot of stuff in the storm. So we we probably get an exact wash. Is this in the ballpark of what we had before? That was, that, that, was that, yeah. that was there. Oh, okay. And oh, but you haven't got a bill, so you don't know. You know no, it's not going to go over. But no, you just it's going to be $40 an hour. We didn't use it. Oh, good. Okay. So that will be what? As is. Okay. Yeah. And I got to go for Sherwin Williams. I ended up buying a nozzle, so put it over 200 uh, with the paint that we bought that was striking in the transfer station. And that machine we borrowed to use, they would charge us for the machine. I didn't get that in the house. We had to buy some paint. So I'm up to $237 for Sherwin Williams. All right. So 237 PO number 1489 for Sherwin Williams for paint. And equipment, oh, you, yeah, um, for striping, right? Correct. And did, did this cover up for the fire department as well? No, he line? bought the paint for his own, oh, okay. and he gave us the paint. We get the paint, and we have and we have plenty of striping paint left for next year. So if we decide to buy a machine or do whatever, but what are you going to hit this to? Let's put in the supplies. It's going to be in the supplies. Okay. We didn't have a line for paintings. So. Okay. Yeah, I'll second the purchase order for purchase order 1489 to Sherwin Williams for paint and a nozzle uh, for $237.08. Any other questions? So it all got done before the weather turned? Or? The only strike we got done was the transfer station, the fire station, and right. we did the stop line where we put the new stop okay. line up. And we have paint left. So your priority was getting the transfer station, those arrows, mm -hmm. okay. or whatever you did. Okay. All right, any other questions? All those in favor say aye. Aye. aye opposed? Getting that done first. Actually, met with Aaron. Yes. Sligo Road. Okay. And we have some good news. Okay. I saw an amount of $425,000 to do the repair work down there. I talked with Aaron. We said the storm helmet is in good shape. Okay. What we need to do is reinforce the, the uh, sides of the, the walls of the uh, Okay. Not of the cover itself, but the uh, yes, the stream. Okay. By putting rip wrap or something in there to cover that. Okay. And he said that can be done within twenty five to fifty thousand dollars to repair that. We can open the road back up to where it was. Okay. So it's just something to think about. We don't have to worry about taking the cover out. He says it's not a heavy traffic road. To be honest with you, I think that should have been done. I don't know why that didn't go to that. That wasn't reported originally or not. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. All right, so what do we have in our, Caroline just left, we have a covert fund um, we can look into. Um, I mean, they, they don't have to be next year. I mean, I'm just. Well, I'm saying we might want to put some money away into that fund to. You know, I mean, but to get that road, we can it. actually open the road up now. We can, uh, and I plan to move the barriers back so that we can. On both sides you can move it? One side we can take out completely. You said there was never anything there before. You said oh. they put them up. You know, so we can open the road up pretty much. Okay. But I think we should put a guardrail in eventually, or, or put guardrails in, take them barriers out, you can gain four feet of road right off it. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't have to happen. That's a $6,000 item for guardrails. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we decided to do that. But it's just, we don't have to spend four hundred and some thousand dollars putting the culvert in and stuff like that. The road's still going to be back to normal width. Okay. And if they decide further down the road you want to widen that road, which I don't see happening in town for a long time, no. you should be all set. That's going to, we can, by reconstructing the, the shoulders around it, we can gain about three more, three or four more feet okay. and bring it up to the, you know, and, and restructuring the front of the, the face of the, that collapse. This is the work that can be done in-house? No, we're going to, that's bigger, you need a bigger machine, so you'd have to hire it out, and you still can do it for less than $50,000. All right, well, so in the fund, that that's not um, if you don't spend it this year, you lose it, right? right no, it's, it's in it's some kind of a non-lapse. Non-lapse. Okay, yeah. that's great. So. Yeah, I ran into another issue today. Okay. I'll actually get an email Friday. Okay. From a person who said they had a subject on 433 Foundry Street. 
Okay. Saying that when we built the road this year, uh -huh. they allowed it, she allowed them to put the swale in a driveway so the water would not go in their driveway and go by the well, driveway. And the first thing I said, well, we didn't do that road this year. And I says, the swale I have no right away, response but, right. on, no, it's, no, no issue we reported to me the whole year I've been here. Right. Mm -hmm. So I says, what, what's going on? She said, well, when we get a heavy rain, the water comes down and goes in the driveway, goes out of the swale. And, Okay. So I went back. Of course, when we had the snow, we're filling the swale, and the water's not being able to run down the swale. Right, right. So then that's the problem. Get, right. I, you know, you got to help yourself a little. Right, right, right. You know, if you're doing the snow blow with your driveway, you think an extra pass along the side of the road, you'd probably be all set. Right, we went down and pushed the snow out and cut it, and so it was running. But right. Again, it's, I think it's housekeeping more than anything. But I'm just passing it on. There may be an issue where we could put it. We'd end up with a color under that driveway because the driveway, I mean, the water does come down Boundary Street and a pretty good cliff. And it's, again, with heavy rain. Right. But putting COVID in there, that the, the, the house is expense, not at all, right? Yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's yeah, the residence is the Putting the swale in. Yeah. All right, well. I mean, the town put the, the ditch in. I'm just, you know, informing you. Yeah. That swale was put in by the town when they built Boundary Street, but right. they got permission to go apparently into that driveway to put some of the swale so the water wouldn't run into the yard. Are we talking, swales about, are we the talking about the garden plot? Right? Where are we talking? We're talking the second house past Brunt, I think, for the, the driveway. The house on the corner of South and Boundary? One opposite. The other side of the so street. it's not other down side. the below. It's oh. not down on the bottom of it. It's, no, it's at that. Oh, so okay. I have to go and take a look at it. Right. No, they, Four thirty-three. Okay. Yeah, they put a swale down both sides of the road. Right. Help the water. Right. Fall. Right. And this house here is the second house down. And it gets when you build a swale, you're not slowing the water down. You're actually it's picking up speed, and that's where right. it's all going. And it's coming down the hill, going into the driveway. But they had made a small swale so it would cross the driveway and it works fine when it's not a major rain. I see. Okay. But we've had some major rain. <laughs> and like, but you know, like I told her, I said, if I'd have heard the complaints in the spring, we could have probably helped her out. There's nothing we can do for her right now. Right, with yeah. all the snow. You know, right. And I'm just saying that there's a possibility that she may want well, us to take do something next year. Okay. But we clean the snow out of the thing. And, you know, I have a complaint, I figured I can handle it. Right. And well, thank you very much. I wanted to give you a heads up on it. There might be something to come back. Okay. You know, if there was an issue prior to me. Right. So. so we'll look to. Um, I, I told her, I said, again, in the spring, she said, I can take pictures for you when it's rain, but I don't need pictures. I can see what, what it's going to do. Yeah. So, we're yeah. so into covert. Sligo? Yeah, so we, The uh, double cover one? Right, that one, yeah, we still love to be thinking about at least being able to see if we can do something by pulling a pipe out of it or something. So we don't keep that in the. I mean, if, we've had some torrential rain this year, so it's. Uh -huh. like, so first time it came close. Okay. So we already talked to you about the so cost projections at the transfer station. Caroline's handling that. Right. And. Um, we did not get a bill on the bailout yet. Okay. The is, they just started doing the wiring today. Well, he started. Okay. Not going to be here until 28 to finish it, but they had some time, so they ran the conduit and stuff today. Okay. You won't get a bill until they want to make sure it's working right. They couldn't test it because they didn't, they didn't hook it to 480. They put a brand new motor and everything in it. So they want to make sure we can push a barrel out of it and, and so they can do the adjustments before they start billing us. And they're just going to extend the bills, the monthly bills, instead of lumping them. Of course, we didn't get it till just recently, so. Mm -hmm. I'll say that again, too. We're taking a while now. We had monthly bills we were going to pay. Right. Them. Well, we're not, they, they're not starting until this is operational. Correct. So they're just going to make extend it the five, you know, whatever the plan we had for five months, six months, whatever it was. Okay. So they're just going to move it up. He's not going to back that charge us to the time we decide to do it. And they haven't picked up the old bill yet, you. so. All right. Anything else for me? Um, so we talked about the truck already, so we can take that off. 
Posting the roads, can we talk about that after uh, we finish with the budget? Mm -hmm. We'll just keep that on as a placeholder, yeah. is that okay? Yeah, I just, I just yeah. brought that up. No, no, we'd like to talk about it, but I want to I want to get to the budget first. So I, I guess that. Uh, we have for you, unless you have anything. Denise, yeah, thanks, George. Thank you for the information earlier on the front. Okay. And what up, Chief? Good evening. Good evening. Business. We have a police and training council form B here, which just indicates that the officer, excuse me, Sergeant Stevens, are resigned 11 9 18. He just needs the signature of the hiring authority and the date, please. So bad. I wanted to have him into a meeting so we could say thank you. It didn't work out. So. Where am I? Bottom down here? Just the very one. Okay, person number 1537 to Whitewater Car Wash, six months for uh, car washes for four vehicles, unlimited, $576, and that will come out of the fuel line, okay. and we will have uh, enough in the fuel line for, for that purchase. Okay. Purchase order 1537, 576 for four um, unlimited passes for um, car washes for four vehicles for six months. Oh, I'm sorry. White water car wash. Okay, so purchase order 1537 has been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Mm -hmm. Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. That doesn't even look like. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I couldn't read that one. That one was bad. I'm sorry. Purchase order number 1538 to the city of Dover. Cruiser number 71 needs four tires and front brakes for uh, roughly $875. Cruiser 73 needs a tire rod and ball joint uh, replacement for roughly $250. So I got a purchase order for $1,125. That will come out of the vehicle maintenance uh, line item, uh, which will go over this year. However, um, I do have uh, other line items that will not second. Uh, I move purchase order 1538 to the city of Dover for a total of 1125 for cruise of 71 and 73. Second. Okay. So purchase order 1538 has been moved and seconded by a lot of repairs, but we have a lot of miles too, don't we? So. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. aye opposed? Joy has submitted a request under FMLA for uh, two weeks of sick time uh, for the birth of his baby, okay. uh, which would have been last week and this week. We anticipate, hopefully, he'll be back uh, next Sunday or Monday. Okay. Um, uh, I have not approved it as of yet uh, because I wanted to address it with the board. In the past, uh, prior boards have authorized only five sick days uh, for this purpose. Sergeant Stevens, Lieutenant Yaraskovich, and um, at then Sergeant Kirkinson. Okay. Um, but I told him I would at least bring it up to you folks uh, because you, know, you guys have the ultimate <laughs> yes or no. I, he has 22 hours of vacation time and 189 hours of sick time uh, as of November. Your, pol your, your policy downstairs has been right along five days? Well, not my policy, the town's policy. The town's policy. It has been five days, okay. uh, sick time, and then you use your vacation time to make up the difference. Oh, I see. So does officer, uh, which I have vacation time, you can offset it? Well, or? he'll have uh, 22 hours. Instead of getting an 80-hour eight hour, 80 hour paycheck, he'll get 22 hours for uh, vacation time, right? 40 hours 
uh, sick time okay. under the policy. So he'll be short 16 hours in the second week. So instead of getting 80 hours for two for two weeks, he's going to be short 16 hours because okay. you know, between vacation time and the five sick days, he doesn't make he doesn't get 80 hours. Okay. Yeah. The lieutenant sent them a text today asking him if he was coming back uh, Sunday or Monday. Right. He said he thought so, but he wasn't quite sure. And um, he was thinking that he might have to go back out again on FMLA. Well, as I read FMLA, for the birth of a child, you're taking one block. You can't take right. it here, there, and everywhere. Right. You get one shot of the pie, and, yes. and that's it. So um, I will, uh, that's what I once I find out tonight what we're going to do with his pay, then I'll sort of contact and say, you know, You've had your piece of pie here. Right. I just wanted to run that by you. We'll right. see you back sooner than later. Yes. Right. So, the sick time, um, and I'm coming from the personal world, the uh, business world, but after five days, you have to have a doctor that you can have. Is that how it works? I don't know how it works. No. Our policy is two days. I'm sorry? Our, pol our police department policy is two days. Uh, two days, you have to have doctors. Okay, but with FMLA, if, uh, what are the restrictions? For that, or is it is it the town okay, dictation of the policy, or Correct. is it okay? It's whatever the town policy is. Okay. Yeah. And the town policy is we're five required days. to give the time off. We're required to save his job, or we're not required to pay him. Right. Under FMLA. Right. Okay. And then historical data says that we've only ever done five days. Correct. And then, but after that, then they can use vacation. vacation. Then. But how does he, I'm sorry, how does he not get paid? You well, he'll get five, was, he'll get five sick days, yeah. and he'll get 22 hours instead of, for vacation time. Because that's all he has? Because that's all he has pending. Oh. Okay. Yes. Okay. So his paycheck will have 60, um, 62 hours as opposed to 80 hours. Okay. I would imagine we would continue the policy. If we've been doing it for all day, I'd rather employ it. I agree. It wouldn't change it. And you're right. If you, if you take FMLA, you take it all at once. Like, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't get to take it. Mm -hmm. week here, no, I think we could take it. It would have been nice, but that's not right. how it works. So. I think you have to have this straight yeah. So, um, how many weeks of vacation does a police officer get? Well, it's, it's, it Basically. depends on the length of like service. Here. Okay, so, did, I mean, did he use vacation already? So yeah. that's why he yeah, doesn't have it. That's so why he's short now. Okay, so yeah. he knew. And use vacation, knowing that. Uh, correct. Uh, well, could have used it or would well, he could have saved it for. Well. Right. Right. Fifty-six. He's close. He's used close to ninety hours of uh, vacation time already this year. If I read this correctly. So. Separate from, from, separate from time. The, the current, uh, yes. Right. So, so that's why he only has 22 hours left. As of November, anyway. I got you. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. My opinion is this. If you, you have enough, first of all, you have, we have a policy in place already that every other officer in the department that he's serving in has had to follow. He had the opportunity to reserve some of his vacation time that he decided to use for other purposes, and that's his right. But it's not right now for them to come back to the town and say, oh, you know, I, I know I used my vacation time for other purposes, but now I want, I want this added perk that everyone else doesn't get. So I would say we follow the, what we've been giving everyone else, and we follow what you've already told them. In my opinion, it's my decision. So, but I, we don't. We have to be unanimous in our decision. No, but we have to wait until next week. So. No, I think I think we need to follow what the rules are. Nothing's changed in the guidelines since the last person had their child. Correct. So it, it was I think we need to follow the same guidelines that we have used on all other employees. So, does it have to be a motion? No. Was this was this explained though? officer before he did all this? I mean, it, it takes, as I recall, a little over nine months to have a child. So. <laughs> I mean, in my opinion, 
my experience. <laughs> well, my I, experience. I did not sit down with him and say, you know, make sure you save uh, whatever time you need for your child. I mean, no, no, I get that, but so, yeah. but, he, but but he's had nine months to, to plan this. Of course, so of course. Okay. Let me also do that. And to ask you questions too, as to how it works. I mean, well, okay. he was told he had a week, right, of sick to use, but he could use one week of sick. And the rest would have to come out of his well, vacation time. He knows he could have at least five days of vacation time and whatever remaining um, vacation time he has. Uh, not only did he ask me for those numbers, but he also sent an email directly or a text directly to Caroline to specifically ask her how many hours did he have the books available to him at, at the point that he went out two weeks ago under FMLA. But you can take so, FMLA without pay. I mean, I mean, that's So if he wants to stay out, I mean, that's the other thing. If he wants to stay out for another two or three weeks, as long as you're able to accommodate that within the department, which I don't know if you can, but um, he can take it, but he's just not going to get paid. Exactly. I mean, yes. that's how it works. I mean, that's not my decision. That's the federal government's decision. They're the ones that created the program, so. Yeah, I, I, I think okay, we should so stick to I the think policy that's been We in are place. backing you up in your decision. Yeah, you bring it up to you. I, I told him I would. So. Okay. He's, I did. We're welcome, we're, we welcome him to come and talk to us if he wants. I mean, yeah. Okay. That's all that I have for you folks. Anything for me? Uh, we've kept the new uh, the nuisance ordinance on here as a placeholder. You're going to work yes, with Tom. Yes, I'm right? on Okay, then so. we're just going to keep it on the placeholder. I don't think. Let me just make sure there's nothing down here that happened to me last week. I don't think. And that's it. Oh, we're going to we are going to talk about the junkyard license. I don't know if you want to be present for that conversation or not, but. We're going to uh, take it up after we talk to the fire chief. So we don't want to make we're them there again this week. Either, so. You were there again this week? We were. Another okay. issue between a uh, person who had a vehicle there and uh, the owner of the mall. So we're going to talk about the, the hours of operation. Is is the crux of our, our problem. So. Thank you. All right, thank you. Nice holiday. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Some of it could be just a placeholder we don't have to talk about tonight, but <laughs> Thank you. I did get your email about the you know, Brian Pellerin's thing, so mm -hmm. I will run him down. We'll go down and try to make sure it works. Yeah, I, I read so I talk spoke with uh, Brian at uh town meet uh, on election day. Yep. Uh, on election day. Yep. Um he goes, oh, yeah, yeah, we have standpipes, sir. They belong to the mill. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. That's great to hear. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it made me very happy, actually. Yeah. But um, and he wants, he's, he says that it, he believes it's his responsibility to make sure they're operational. It's my recollection, but it was also a very, it was a 14-hour day, so. Sure. I don't know if I remember every single detail of every conversation that day. But um, he did say that they're his, or his companies, mm -hmm. and... Um, to have a follow-up conversation. I will. We see that <coughs> quite regularly, and I will. Because I did mention to him that you had concerns. You want to make sure they were operational, because it's not just for the mill, but if there are issues in the sure. village and you need to pump water, mm -hmm. you need to be able to it's, tie into that. And he understood that, too. So. Yeah, it's easier to go there and yeah. just take it out of the river. And he needs, it's, you know, easy was very access. open to having a conversation. With yes, him, so. okay. yeah. Very good. I'm sure he's, he has he's always very good when we deal yeah. with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of issues in the mill. And Purchase order 1443 to Ken Desmond. 
for annual pump test for engine one and engine two for three hundred and sixty-four dollars to hit emergency vehicle testing. Second that. Any discussion of first order fourteen forty-three? Seeing none. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. All right. Purchase order 1507 for painting by Garrison Painting. It's hitting the building maintenance for $1,500. And this is the last project you have? That's it. That'll take care of all the building maintenance projects for this, for this season. Okay, okay. All right. Any discussion on purchase order 1507? None. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right.
So I managed to salvage some of their gear. So um, that line item has, for gear, we had to order some stuff. I got to get helmets, which I don't like to buy, but they're expensive. Um, there's still a couple of thousand dollars left in that line item, which would give us one and a portion set of gear. So my intent is, when I go back to the fire station, uh, the member that takes care of the gear information is going to give me the actual name and how much I need to get. My thought is, we haven't bought any hose yet, even though we can still use the hose. Mm -hmm. My thought is, priority-wise, is if I have to go over the line item for uh, the gear, which I will if I have to get a couple, three sets, that I will uh, not spend the hose money this year. And that could slide in someplace in the budgeting and the things to, to uh, cover any overrun that we have to uh, apply the gear. That's my thought. All right, why don't you... Um I'm still going to write it up, still going to take it out of the gear line. Figure out where or uh, over. But how want. much you need. Yep. And then um, we'll have to look. Looking through you, sorry. So, you don't have to I'm just looking through you. Um, to see if we can find it somewhere. I don't like the idea of not buying hose. I'm not the expert, though. You are. But I don't. Well, I mean, I can always use, like, put more in fire trucks because we have what we do to meet the standard of what we need. I'd like to see some more. Right. But this is this kind of the same thing we've been dealing with radios where we've had to swap some money around because we need to I know. do that. But I, I understand exactly where you come from in the same way. But it's like my house is burning down. I really want to have enough hose to reach down to the. Oh, building. we'll have plenty to of that. water out of that But you know, I can have work. So well, the thing is, I can have all. And the you hose. too, I'm sure. So I can have all the hose in the world, but I don't have enough personnel to drag that. Fair enough. No, no, I get that. Right. Right. Yeah, I'm, right. I, I'm not arguing that. I just want, I, but I think we, if we have. <coughs> We may be able to find. We have a lot of money, but um, to move around, but we may be able to move around a couple of thousand. If we well, I still think that's that, that's in this budget. There will be money left within the budget, so you will have to find it. Okay, you will be able to find it within your. Yes. Earth. Okay. Yes. Fine. Yes. I thought you were saying you weren't sure if you'd be able oh, no, to find. No, no, no. I just misunderstood. No, there, okay. there is some line items in here um, that I know I'm not going to come close to spending. So I know within the fire department budget, okay. if we go over that one line item and. Like, there will be other line items outside of holes, which I think will be more than enough to cover. Okay, that's fine. Right? Okay. I trust, I, 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 I I trust I, your judgment. That's not it. I, I, I just I want I, I was misunderstanding stuff. what you were telling me. So. Yeah, no. no I, I, I looked at the numbers and looked at where we are and what's left over in certain line items. Okay. And I know we, I just wanted to make you aware of where I was headed all my thought okay. process was yeah. as far as being able to meet the goal of, you know, because these guys, once they start school, um, well, they have gear now. But what they have now is stuff that has been turned in and gear like everything else is a 10 year shelf life. Mm -hmm. So they are using some of that stuff now because we get them all up and running and I'm like, well, if we get a call, I want you to come into the station so you can learn policies, procedures, sure. certain calls we can put you on, we're going to take you, we're going to mm -hmm. put you to work right now. Sure. But as your training progresses, you become more and more viable, we'll give you more to do. And once you have a certificate, you got to make sure that they have sure. proper I, I get that. certified. So that's, that's where we're going. Okay. Sure, we would be supportive of that. So. I'm sure. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to get, understand my train of thought. Okay. I'm with you. I just was yeah. misunderstanding. Yeah. All right. Um, give you me fire. To, oh. Does he want to go into nonprofit? Okay, but before we do that, yeah. we probably should have before. But um, fire farms, I want to keep on so we don't lose sight of it. Yeah, no, that's, can, that's a very good idea. And um, Oak Street MOU, we didn't take off. I think we're set with the police. Did you have anything? That you wanted to see specific in there, you're going to reach out to the new chief. Well, I, every time I ask you, I forget the man's name. The police chief? Fire chief. Fire chief. Fire chief. Fire chief. Yeah, there's no you, good. You have your, you know what, yeah, what yeah. is your response. And yeah, we're yeah, right. we know exactly where we're going. A little more detail. I get that, but what, okay. Okay. Yeah. You think you're all set then? Basically, it's like we both cover the whole road, is how we just kind of have it. So, mm -hmm. I mean, okay. really, we run the middle of the line, but if there's anything on either side, they go, we go. Mm -hmm. That's just kind of a okay. Uh, Would you like to agreement. see that memorialized in the MOU? I mean, it's well, a good thing Chief, to have that. Let me run that by Chief Hagman. Okay. Let him know that you know this is something that the town is looking at. Could I like to send this back to Mr. Um, Colorado? Thank you. To the uh, city attorney, okay. Dover, so okay. he can write up the draft again for us, and we can sign off on it. Okay. He's handling all that for us, so we don't have to uh, use illegal dollars for it. Yeah, no, very good.
appreciate the tax credit of Dover taking care of that for us. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, at least, yeah, anyways. All right, so you want to go into our public session? Yeah, personal personal yeah, yeah, yeah. Personal. Yes. Do you have one? Yes. Now, have you moved it? Oh, oh a move it, it. we're going non public. Okay, so a second. So we're. Um, Motion to be made and seconded to go into non-public session for um, personnel issue. Denise? Yes. Mike, yes for non-public It was office. Oh, okay. Did you want to revisit budget? Yeah. Well, let's, yeah, let's look at revenue. So we're going to, um, <laughs> we're going to suspend the select board meeting at 7.34. Go back into a budget workshop to work on um, revenues for 2019. <clears throat> All right. So, as I said, on, um, I'd like to see if we can get um, some historical data. <clears throat> Excuse me. Actually, okay. Let me back up. Um, my intention, I believe, um, and I think Denise agrees is to take all the vote next Monday night so Miles can be here. And you can add in any last minute uh, um, comments or suggestions that he wants to. Um, mm -hmm. The first meeting's not until the last day. Yeah, and so, we're not on that one. Yeah. But we will make a, we'll, um, the operating budget will be ready to go. The CIP hopefully will be ready to go also. I can't imagine it wouldn't, but, and um, revenues, if not that week, then the week of the, they're not taking up revenues. One revenues I don't think was until later in the uh, yeah, it's usually at the very end. So it should be okay. But anyway, so I'd like to work on a little bit tonight. Okay. So, but my, my what my thought was, I'd like to get a little bit of historical data uh, for some of these, recognizing that we don't have a whole lot of time to um, to uh, gather it all or to have another conversation about it. I'm not available this weekend. Uh, my wife reminded me it was a holiday weekend. So, I wouldn't be spending any family. So, um, not that you're all not my town family, but you probably all want to speak with your families too, and not with me talking about revenue. So, and I appreciate that. So, I just want to let you know, I was here on Saturday waiting for your all. I, even I though, heard. Even though I. Was the one who said, let's not have one on Saturday. I was yep. the only one here. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's I, a was, uh, I was still in there. We can't be having a meeting. <laughs> no, no, no. I really couldn't have had that meeting. I so, actually went to the video and made sure that you didn't have a meeting for that yeah, Saturday. No, I, yeah. <laughs> I was the only one here. Well, anyway. So, so land use change tax. <laughs> um, it's not a huge amount, but I don't want to budget. If, if, if we don't think we're going to come close to 20, I don't want to blow a hole. And revenues right from the get go. Um, my concern, as I said earlier, is I, I don't want us to get in the same situation. We we overestimated um, uh, the police details. Mm -hmm. and I, I don't want us to get in that situation again. I'd rather err on the side of caution. Um, and it's a. Because it's a, you can always revise it and midpoint or whatever we have that, to do it. And, then and I'd rather do that. Yes. So, so we can leave it at 20 right now. But I'd like to. Um, I'd like to get a little more data on that. So, so the one thing to consider, the the one reason that revenue matters now more than later is that we will put all the pieces together. I get that. Have, you know, yep. to no, figure no, out I what the that. tax impact is. Just I get that. Can. Right, right, and then and then the first tax bill would be based on these numbers. No, no. It's based no. off the rate we set uh, a couple weeks ago. It, it's going to be half of oh, this current bill that right. just went out. That's right. So, so that part's fine, but okay. when people ask what the tax impact is of yeah. a Warren article, right. that's going to be based on the revenues you're setting now. Okay. In part. Okay. Right, because, so, and, I, and I don't want to, it seems like it's small potatoes, and it probably is in the, in the grand scheme of things, but when you then go down to the next line of residence tax, resident tax, we may not have that revenue coming in, so I want to make sure we're as careful as possible. So we are not supporting removing it, right? It has. Wow, it's it, it, we're, we're not. I'm not. We're not writing a thing you know, to get rid of it. I, this has to be done by petition by somebody. That was my understanding. Yep. Yeah. 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 Right. I was, I'm not going to sign on to 
we're doing. But that doesn't mm -hmm. mean that um, Miles would be put in. Oh, no, then, no. Then it's not happening. Yeah. So, okay. But if it's by petition, it, it could happen. It could happen then, to sure. You. Yes. Yeah, it can happen to us. That's the mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. um, and that's fine if that's the will of the voters. But um, I, I don't want to do that in this process. Mm -hmm. So I think we should just leave that where it's at for now because that's going to be a best guess. That's not going to be. That's either going to be there a little less or nothing. So I would just keep it where it is. The yield tax, I've not gotten anything in the last several years, I know that. Um, and what is the other one? Well, I guess that's further down. We'll talk about that when we get to it. Um, payment in lieu of taxes. This is the penalty on. Um, no. No. Um, that is a change. You see it's in the change column, mm -hmm. and that's due to the MS-1. There was something that was changed in the MS-1, and I'm not really clear on what it is. Okay. But it, it was kind of a, um, I don't mean backhanded in a bad way, but it was something that happened on the rear end of the tax rate, rate setting process. That the MS-1 goes to the Department of Revenue and is a factor in setting the tax rate, but they also take that report and they reconcile it with this report and they found that dis discrepancy. So my guess is um, it's either utility, it's, it's utilities or, or hydro. I see. I think it's that hydro. That's not, that's not the, um, the cell tower, is it? No. Okay. Because no, it's, it's about not. that amount. Yeah, but it's not. Okay. And that's an even 36. It's, okay. It doesn't have change. Okay. So, no. So, so I'm going to get more clarity on what exactly it is. I'll let, um, it's it's in the MS1, and I, it's just about looking at the... But it's positive. It was an unexpected, unanticipated revenue. Correct. So My concern is, are we double reporting it? If right. we don't understand it, we're potentially double right. reporting yeah. it. Right, right, right. Exactly. Okay. So we need to follow up on that. Excavation tax, we, uh, we don't have any mines in town. We don't do any strip mining in town, so... We don't have any sand pits in town. So, again, I'm, trying, I'm not trying to make jokes out of this, but I'm just trying to think of the other things that could possibly be snow coal plants in town, right? So, pits. So, we're not going to get anything with excavation tax. Micro pits, I guess. That would be uh, Other taxes? Do I know what the $630 is? What that represents? Um. Not offhand, I see it in the report, but this is something that because it's actually in the other taxes category. It's not just DRA saying that. Gotcha. Um, QuickBooks has it categorized that way also. I don't, I don't know offhand what this, but I'll, I'll write. That was brought in six hundred and thirty dollars, so. Yes, I think it. So we may be safe just leaving it at that then. Maybe not. I, I, I would want to know what it is. Right. So interest and penalties on delinquent taxes. So this is a function of the economy as much as anything. Mm -hmm. um, now the legislature changed, didn't they? The rate that can be um, charged on delinquent taxes? I know that that was getting evaluated. Um, I think they might have. I know it was 18%. The proposal was 12 To lower it, yeah. And um, we should check that. Mm -hmm. Why does that encourage people to pay? Exactly. It yeah. doesn't. I think that so was the discussion. That was the discussion. The church, so. um, keep it at 18 because it should be the first bill that you pay. Right. And the municipalities want it to be the first bill that you pay because it's expensive. Mm -hmm. um, but the opposition said um, make it a more equitable fairer interest rate. You know, and people can't afford to pay the tax and you really kind of pile on them. Well, I get that. I'm not saying I agree. I'm just saying that's what they said. Yeah. So. And I get that, too. I mean, that's, but... That's said for years, but <clears throat> I think they might have been successful this year. I don't remember. So that's something we want to keep in yes, mind. Because if they that. lowered the rate, then that's going to go down, obviously. Yes. The inventory penalties will go away. That's going to go away. Go away. So that's 6000 Going away. That's the biggest one. Uh, building permits. At this rate, you're slated to take in 36, almost 36 this year. 
Chinberg, right up on One Fourth Street. So yeah, that, that was, was the done. biggest development. We have Oldenburg Land, is that what they're calling it? Mm -hmm. Off of Clement? Yes. Off of Clement, yeah. So there are um, five. five units down there, one way or another, either single or if they have six, six six four. Stru five structures, yes. But five structures in general. So there's going to be five building permits there. What if they're single family homes? Should bring in. Assuming they all happen in one year. Correct. There is that too. There is that too. What other developments are we, we've talked about? What are we not thinking about? Um, there was a subdivision on Silver Street, so that will result in a building permit that's not happened yet. Yeah, but that's like minor, right? That's, that's a one, one house. house, yes. Yeah. There's nothing else on Silver Street, right, that potentially, well, I mean, there is. I mean, there's the, the Bennett's property. If it's sold, it could be subdivided. Well, I mean, there's definitely potential land. But there's there, nothing. But there's nothing. nothing improved in, uh, during process. Right, right, right. right. That's, that's probably a better way to look at it. So we may, we may come close. How many building permits do we issue this year for Chinber up on Wentworth Street? Just off the top of your head. Do you remember Simon? Two or three, two or three. Yeah. Okay. And about twenty-two hundred dollars a piece. Okay. So with with Oldenburg Lane, if that followed the same pattern, potentially we could make it there. Okay. I'm I'm, I'm less. I'm more comfortable with the words after. I thought we were going to go down. Oh, you thought it was going to go down. Oh, I wouldn't think it was going to go, 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 go up. up. I don't. <laughs> I mean, it could. I mean, the. Dodge Farm could be sold to take the parts that are in current use could be taken out and subdivided and sold off and we could have twenty or thirty new houses going. Forty houses, depending. So maybe more. Um, but I don't say that happening in this year, but the Edelmans could sell their uh, big field over there where the statue of the haystack is and how many houses can they fit in there? I don't know. Oh gosh. So I mean there are, you could have you could have a lot of revenue from building permits, but I don't see it. Um, both of those parcels are um, are protected at the moment from them. I haven't heard any rumblings, but you never know; things can change. So I think we're probably safe leaving it where it's at, um, given the projects we know potentially could be happening. Plus, you've got the small things that a water heater there, you know. Or, each back there, you know, whatever you've got, people can take care of. So, all right. So, are you comfortable leaving it where it's at? Yeah. All right. Other licenses, permits, and fees are these like? Um, this is alarm permits, pistol permits, pistol permit, yeah. um, dog, marriage, birth, death. All of that's in there. Okay. Well, I would think. Um, or are we on the um, what number is it? Thirty-two ninety. Yeah. Oh, so they're all lumped together. So, well, there's, there's, yeah, there's a compilation in that. Yeah, category. they're not. But it doesn't include motor vehicle and building permits, which are in the same category. Right. So yeah. I just take that out. Well, maybe. Let's see. And rooms and meals is in there too, huh? Um, rooms and meals, no, should be in the state. Oh, it says meals and rooms tax distribution. But there's no dollars there. No. Um, that's weird. Oh, so. Um, uh, yeah, disregard that. That's not where that's actually reported. Cable franchise is in there, too. That's not. That must show up somewhere else because we get, what, 20 for that? Something around that. And it's actually in there, yes, but that's in a. You're right. That's in a. No, it's in there because if you look at if you look at the DRA sheet, look at the first four numbers, and the first four numbers are going to inform Three, what two, goes nine, in there. Zero, yeah. So you have cable in there. Okay, but if, if, but, but if we get twenty eight thousand six hundred eighteen, and estimated revenue 
is 10 There's six. 10 6, so it I, can't I be. see you. I, yes. I understand. It's got the same number, right. though, so. Just somewhere we're just not. I'm just missing this. We're uh, not so getting reported. So. No, yeah, I'm sure it's. See where it's. Uh, yeah, yeah, I will. So there's payment in lieu of taxes. Yeah, I mean, the possibility that I could have got shifted up there somehow. I'm looking at the revenues. That's the only only other line. It's, that, that wouldn't be appropriate. Though, I don't. I so, get that completely, yeah. but that's the only other line that I'm looking at. I, I hear you. Yeah, map, I so. am likewise confused. So I will check what the. Yes. Or do we need to have to send the revised uh, revenue estimates to reflect the... Uh, At this point, no, because... Um, they're just going to fund balance then, in general, or... It, it, so, Obviously, yes. they account for it somewhere. It, it will, it, yes, it'll get accounted for in the next tax rate. When the audit happens, it will become part of the audit report, which is a factor in the tax rate setting. So it goes into... You don't have to do anything about it. It, it goes into next Okay. Year. So, but in the meantime, in the meantime, I'm making a list. I think. Well, I'm fair enough. I get that. And it's getting longer. I see that. Got to get that temp here soon. So, other licenses, permits, and fees. We've got a 10-6. <coughs> Excuse me. And if if um, right now it's only 43.84. Well, yes, but I I don't think that's it. I think you know. Um, Universal um, Commercial Code is in there. Um, there really wouldn't be anywhere else for um, births, deaths, marriages, and those things to go into. So um, all these thirty-two nineties should yes, be in all those thirty-two nineties should be in there. Which is that's what creates the confusion about the cable franchise because it has that number. Dog licenses are four thousand. Yes. Marriage so, licenses are another eleven $1 hundred. I mean. So really, it's that entire category minus the first two lines minus motor vehicle building permits, um, and and not including um, some things at the at the bottom. So it's entertainment. It's what pistol, dog, marriage, death, landlord filings, yeah. birth certificates, so, cable franchise. I'm going to do a uni uniform here. commercial code, filing fees, government liens, and uh, other licenses. Permits and fees and town clerk cover over the uh, Excuse me. Okay, so if you take, and this includes the cable franchise, but if you take everything from other license permits and fees mm -hmm. all the way down. Through um, pistol permits, uh -huh. you get thirty nine thousand eight sixty six fifty. Hold on, thirty nine what? Eight sixty six fifty. So if you take that number and divide it by ten, since it's only through November, right? And then take that and multiply it by twelve to project it through the end of the year. You get forty-seven thousand eight forty. Forty-seven eight forty. Okay, that sounds better. So it was totally missed on this. Well, I I I, I can't you believe see, that. Yeah, I, I, I know. there's something that's not connecting, something else and, and so I need to see where it's not connecting because I I would believe that it went somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I would say we want to estimate forty-seven. At least forty-seven eight. Eight was it? Eight forty. What was it? Forty-seven eight forty. Yes. I mean, that's what I would put in there. So that now brings our total. Let's see. Come on. You will probably add this faster than I will, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Are you 
you doing both categories or the one? I'm just doing the entire, um, the bottom line for um, license permits and fees. So that's business license, the motor vehicle, all of it together. Oh, I see. Okay. So adding the bottom belt, the bottom line together with the additional mm -hmm. dollar amount. Bottom line should be seven three two six ninety. If I did that right, I'm going to double check it. Here. I have seven thirty two ninety dollars. Seven thirty two six ninety. No, I don't get six ninety, just ninety. Well, let me do it again then. So that might be. I screwed something up. Six ninety four. Did you do forty seven thousand eight forty for that other line? I actually did. Mm -hmm. Thirty-seven eight forty because ten. No, so I shouldn't have done. It. I should have done thirty-seven two forty. On what line? Oh, because you are you doing the increase or what are you yeah. adding? I'm adding forty-seven eight forty to the mm -hmm. bottom line. Okay. But because it's already ten sixty, it's already You're ten thousand six hundred. I see. I see. Oh, already I see. reflected there. Okay. I want to let's do this again. Two forty. There you go. Thirty seven hundred thirty two thousand and ninety dollars. Yay. So seven three two oh nine off? Yes. Okay. If we go with the forty seven eight forty, mm -hmm. which I think is probably the more reasonable number. So that's good at least. Um, now we come to state sources. I have no reason to believe we shouldn't keep the numbers we have in there because we have no control over meals and rooms distribution. Mm -hmm. um, highway grant, we have the, um, the 48 7, the one time distribution yes. yeah. taken out. Thank goodness we didn't double count that. Um, and everything else. Oh, what is it? Um, the railroad tax that we get and um, whatever from other governments. Must be. Uh, Taxes paid to us by other municipalities and things like that. I guess I can pull it up and look at that. <laughs> so the state report just says from other governments as well. Yes, so. it's not very helpful. I'll see what that is. Super helpful. Thank you. So I would suggest we keep it at the the two ninety nine five twenty seven. That we have, I and mean, I don't see any reason not to. Uh, income from other departments. Well, all right, if you go back to income from other governments, the 109 that remained on that line was the fire grant, the fire. So we have to take uh, that out. So I don't remember what got adjusted out, but that's what you're left with. So we have to take that so out. So you have to take that out because you're not going to yeah. have to fire it. Okay, take that so that's up for be sure. Zero. Transfer station and police income. So it's forty nine six eighty nine currently. Oh right. Yes. Okay. Yep. So Bob had mentioned oh, though. Yes, yes, yes. Um, number for 
outside cover. Okay. Outside cover for is Staring at me here somewhere. Contact the services. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. See if I can go in. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, the chief anticipates 60000 yeah. That was the expense budget for last 40, year. Forty thousand. Yeah, I looked at the default line. So even at forty, 40. though, I would caution you against budgeting for equal revenue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So. So if you know. Well, that's from all those categories, not just that one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I was just going to try to provide a percentage here um, and take income over um, expense to yeah. see if we can project a ratio. Okay. Um, Expenses um, to date and multiply that through the end of the year, uh -huh. um, and then multiply that by 1.44. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, um, I just did that. Well, put a piece of it and have a piece. So that would project an income on that line of 27,648 this year. Being said, I think details are slower, like in the not so nice weather. Right, right, right. So that's a generous estimate. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so the chief did mention that there were times when they turned down details this year um, because they didn't have the coverage for them because shuffling personnel around different sort of reasons. Um, it just happened last weekend. They had a lead cop doing our um, this stuff on Saturday. Show-handed. Mm -hmm. So, um, there is potential for growth if he has the staff. If he has the staff, and that being said, 
wear down an officer to a retirement. Um, we won't be able to fill that position until, what do you think, May? That there are, is there a May Academy? Well, the there's a, um, the next one's August. There's, August. Yeah, there's, August. Um, yeah. there's August. January and there's August. January's Unless they find somebody who's, who's certified that they can hire right away. Right. given the um, salary constraints that we mm -hmm. find ourselves under. Mm -hmm. Well, and the... The um, odds of him finding a certified way well, to go officer... Well, there's a lot out there anyway. ...is going to be state. slim to none compared to someone who could go to the state police or could go to the city of Manchester, which are also competing for people right now, and Dover. Or you come to Rollins, right? We don't want to overinflate. Bob thinks he could bring in 40. Right? Um, I believe he cautioned, he said it to me whether or not he said it to the board, don't uh -huh. budget the income based on 40. Right. right. He just wants the flexibility to Extend. expense that yeah. if he has the opportunity. I, I would at this point do half of that just because of the historical of this year. And he is not going to have his staff level that he yep. needs yep. because of the restraints of the academy. You can't have someone work at detail. You can't hire somebody until you know that you can get them into the academy unless you serve on it. And with other restraints he has as well. Right. That's the last thing that they're going to be thinking about. What they need to cover in shifts, not doing extra detail. So the income the way we're currently earning it based on the expenses as we are currently accruing them would be $28,800 on $20,000 worth of expense. Does that make sense? Can you say that again? If we're going to actually spend $20,000 mm -hmm. on a contracted services, mm -hmm. the income you can expect from that, assuming all the same people work that with their rates, mm -hmm. um, is $28,800. 20, so the profit is $8,000. Yeah, 8800 Yeah. Okay. Assuming, I mean, th there's a factor. Different people work at yep. different Depends rates. Depends who it is. Right, right. So a reasonable amount of it, probably 24 25 Again, we can, once we know more, we can always revise it at the time that you have to revise it or whatever. But I certainly wouldn't be supporting you for sure. No, no, no. I, no, I don't think we should, sure, but I don't know. I, I don't know if we'll go to, if we'll be able to go to 28. It's a gamble. You it's don't really it is. It is. So I'd rather, I think even 25 is probably a gamble. Gamble on 25 and 28. So I don't want to gamble on 60. Um, just a question, and I'm not sure anybody can answer it though. Um, ha does it have to be a policeman to do these details, or can it be depends on what it is. I mean, if you're just sitting there to do, do traffic control, it's, if it's a flagger, we have other qualified flaggers right. in the highway department and in the fire department. Right. Right. Um, but if you go to a different community, I don't know if they're regulating the level of qualifications. Oh, it's the other communities that we're talking about more so than our, our own For the town. most part. Oh, yes. okay, okay. I was thinking Which is not to say that we couldn't send a fire department person. I don't right. know that. I don't know, you know that either. And, and it depends. You know, um, I don't know if there are different levels of flagging. You know, two-way mm -hmm. versus multiple ways. You know, we have an ordinance in town that um, yes. if there's companies coming in, Mm -hmm. They're required to hire one of our officers to do, on the, town to do the details on town road. Yeah. On our Problem town. is most of the, the things happen on the state roads, so they bring in their own flaggers. But, mm -hmm. but so we are covered at least if it's on town road. On but, town roads, yeah. But, I'm yeah. just thinking instead of losing the revenue, if there was options to have it yeah. be other I people think that's within a the town. Good conversation to have with police too, with because police he would yeah. know. Yeah. What the like have a list there. of who is 
so-called qualified. I think he's got, he's got arrangements with other chiefs of the departments. I don't, you, I, I don't know the answer. We should ask and reach out and ask him if, if they would be willing to accept someone who was not a police officer. I'm talking about in our own town. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, you know, in our own town, if we can not lose it to another town. Yeah. Sure. And we yep. can get the revenue source yep. to come into Rollins for stay in Rollins for and use. I, w I don't think I would want to have other than our police to go outside of. Okay. I wasn't I'm not just thinking that. more about I don't think, keeping it in. I think the, 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 the overwhelming majority of it comes from our town. It's not a lot of in town, is it? The details? Um, There's probably some. There are some, but no, it's the farmer's market and UNH yep. and um, utilities, mostly outside, right. you know. Right. Yeah, I mean, if we can talk to Bob and see if... Well, just... With the fire, there's been fire personnel that have um, filled in um, and the sort of the highway bar. I think the police chief probably has the fire number. Probably. Yeah, we can ask the question if it's... Not I, mean, I don't fine. think we're dictating it. We just want to know if he's if there are opportunities that come up. <laughs> if we can substitute a, a firefighter for an outside police officer, for a, a police officer from Stratford or mm -hmm. wherever they come from. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to the town of Stratford, mm -hmm. Barrington, or wherever. Mm -hmm. And we could keep the revenue in Rollinsford. I think we'd like to try to do that. I also it's don't want to scrum. No, no, it, absolutely not. But no. it's just something. We should fact, ask him. You know to help us uh, determine. So <clears throat> my suggestion would be 25, but. Yeah, I think that's. I mean, that's, my crystal ball is not working perfectly this evening, so. Well, I think it's a start, and then it can be adjusted as we see the, yeah. the history happening. Yeah. So. Okay, so I'm going to make a note about 25, but that's, that's just, just for that mine. Yeah, okay. But all the others were the really good. Entire line, right? Three, four. It's the whole category. Yes. O one through O six. Awesome. What's O nine? Other charges. Oh, that's the zoning page. A copy. So we've had some copying. Mm -hmm. So we can add that in at least. Maybe add in uh, two hundred under other charges. It's not a lot. I get that, but a little bit helps, especially when you're talking about the reductions we just. Uh, are faced with in the line above. What would you like to put in there? That's why I was going to try to do the first. <laughs> Let's, right. uh, no, no, you're fine. Um, let's go back up here. So, taking out police details, what's that line look like? Uh, I thought that um, animal oh. violations. Okay. Oh, Finish your thought because I have another. So I thought animal violations went somewhere else and not to us. So this is revenue. It doesn't mean that there's not an offsetting expense because we report them both. No, I thought so the revenue went somewhere else. Oh, so I, am I getting it wrong? Is it when dog some, licenses go to the state? Oh, oh, okay. So, so we something. earn a very, very small margin on those. Oh, okay. Um, so we collect them all and then we report them all to the state and pay the state for them all. But it's okay. not really a revenue generator. We earn, I don't know, I don't want maybe five or ten cents on the dollar mm -hmm. or something like that. Um, but violations are different. That's just ours. That's when you refuse to license your dog and you've been notified and notified right. and notified okay. and we send a police and a summons and you pay the fine that and register your lane. That stays here. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so that being said, um, something to think about in this category is we're going to be having revenues for transfer station materials broken out. Right. Um, so I would caution you against really picking a number for this category until we um, hear from Mr. Ordway. He's working on. He's working on. And he's working diligently, so I'm hopeful that he can get back to us pretty quickly. All right, so we want to hold off on this then. We've talked about the, the outside details. We have a number for that. So we can do that. Anyway, I guess. But, um, yeah, I was just thinking about that. Yeah. All right. That's fine by me. So let's do a finish.
finish up uh, the miscellaneous revenues. Sale of municipal properties. That was a municipal vehicle. Yeah. Um, will he have a cruiser this year? No. I don't think. No, I don't think so. He won't. So. Well, you just had one. Right, and that's what this. Is that seven eighty seven was yes. one. Yes. Oh, okay. yes. Yeah. And what was the other three thousand? Well, you'll have one because you're getting rid of you're getting rid of two. What? Well, the highway truck. If you if you're gonna no, buy a high cruises, we're leasing two. We're leasing two, but I if you're getting rid of one, it, it's not more than one because the reason you're doing two is because we're off cycle, um, right. and so he had a particularly old one. So we may be getting rid of one for getting okay. two, but we're not getting rid of two. Okay. So, but we do have the truck. But we do have the truck. So we should be saying at least twenty for that. If it goes to well, well, this is why you get to report again. You, you can only do your best guess. Mm -hmm. So your intention right. is to put it in a warrant article. Mm -hmm. So I would budget for the offsetting revenue. Okay. And then if it doesn't pass, that's when that's you revise it in September. Okay. So, so twenty twenty five um, that was land sale, the, three, the original 3000 by the way. Oh. Okay. That was um, CJ Corner Lot. Yeah. That happened in the spring. Well, that was more than 3000 We got uh, 10 or 12 for that. 10, I think. I thought you, 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 there's only three in there. Maybe it was a subsequent, maybe it was a broken payment over the year. So the this is. Has, uh, yes. There's a company set up. There's other checking account. There's a high interest checking account. No, he puts it. So that is not reflected in here yeah. because I have to set it up and I haven't. So it's yeah. not in there. So I can look separately in the statements and figure out how much revenue there is from there and let you know. Ah, so here we have the cell tower lease. There we go. Now that was a one-time payment, though. Right. Was um, and then the um, the payments were going to say the same. The other terms were the same, right? Um. For, well, they, if anything, they might actually go up because they were going down because people were leaving because. Of they the short more business because so, they did this. Right, exactly. That was the idea. That was the plan behind but it. But it would be the same at this point. Right. But there's no way to forecast that. Because there's no way, yeah. I agree. So um, I will look into what 3509.510 is. There's miscellaneous in there. out of uh, sequence. Yes. Thank you for that. That makes a little much more sense. Like, hmm. Well, that's way off. Not so much anymore. All right. So you're going to get it back to us on... On what is the miscellaneous in the 35 All right, well, let's hold off then on that one then because I don't want to... I'd really love...
like to ultimately build a better spreadsheet where we can have some history and we can do the same kind of calculator yeah, that would be helpful. feed in. But, um, you know, it's all time. It's all time. Yeah. And then we'll need to figure out what we're moving from capital reserve funds. Yes. Right, we can do that. Takers. Yeah. So, um, what do you do? Well, uh, we're going to ask um, the town clerk to see if, uh, if that's all right. See if she knows anyone who may be willing to volunteer for uh, next week. Or we'll, we'll get paid, but they might not want to do it full time, or if there's someone who might want to volunteer to do it. You mean those two in there? Yeah. So if they know anyone in town that comes in, oh. they can ask that comes through the doors. They're here, you know, during the week. but. I haven't seen any of those volunteers I've been hearing about for every other position we're supposed to fill with volunteers coming in for a paid position. So the problem we'll is it just, it's really hard to be involved in the conversation and, and try to keep minutes. I mean, so it can't really, I mean, it trying to... Be. No, it shouldn't be a member. Yeah. So it's not fair to that member that we're elected to serve, not to take the notes. So anyways, we're going to ask okay. Andrew and Kate to ask people as they come in if there's anyone who might be willing to help. Uh, the Oak Street MOU will put on hold until we hear back from Mark. Mm -hmm. I, hopefully he will uh, want his uh, section included, but if not, we're ready to go with uh, with George. So mm -hmm. um, Richard has reached out to um, to some folks about the portico to get an estimate for next year. Mm -hmm. um, he has um, heard back from one. He's waiting to hear back from another person. One person wants... Um, Three hundred dollars for an estimate, seven hundred dollars for oh, a written yeah. estimate. Yeah, yeah, say nothing. <laughs> and then two thousand dollars if he wants to do an assessment of the entire building. Um, that's the only person that's responded at the moment, so he's still reaching out to other people. Okay. Uh, the bus stop, I have reached out to the uh, school board chair. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I'll check. I will have a check before I came in. So let me just look real quick, and we'll see. Oh, she did actually. She goes, thanks, thanks for being in touch. I'll, um, I'll be checking with um, the superintendent. Um, that because uh, he says she says that the bus routes are not typically something the board gets involved with, but they're happy to start the um, conversation. Um, please feel free to share the complaints or witness the things you witness, so they can um, find suitable solutions. So let me thank her for that. So she did respond. So we'll keep that on though, but so we'll keep reaching out to them, letting them know. We don't have anything under recreation. Did you have any updates? No, okay. I don't know. Okie dokie. Uh, so we're at board member activities. Um, I can't remember since the last time. I don't. It was Stratford Regional Planning. No, that was, maybe I already reported about that. Maybe that was, mm -hmm. Don't thank you. Well, then I don't know. I was out sick all last week, so I don't know. I met, we met um, to talk about what to do about the police station. Okay. And um, the committee has decided that they're going to go forward. We're going to get a few more um, confirming dollar amounts. Um, the, the 
plan is to go forward on Silver Street because the property that we were looking at uh -huh. is it's not going to work. It's not going to work. So unless someone knows of where we can search for something else, the plan is to use Silver Street. Okay. As a, just a police station or a combination? Well, I building. think we are going to go the combo. Okay. At this point, I mean, like I say, we have to get a few more confirming numbers because okay. it... Um, Bob's going to talk to them. Uh, they, they had given like an estimate, so they want to make sure that it's going to be that or if it needs to be revised for the putting on second floor. Okay. Um, so, yep. Hmm. Let's see what happens. When do you think you're all going to be able to make a recommendation to us? Because you have to have public hearing for all of your capital items. And there will, you know, we need to be bonded. That's why. So there are, there right. are other that. No, there, there, don't, there doesn't need to be a separate hearing for um, each individual capital. I think that's just done through the regular budget hearing and then deliberative session. But because there's a, it would be actually bonded. There would be a separate. I'm trying to find the calendar that I can access it from my phone. I don't think I can. Because we talked about, um, the, the committee talked about um, holding public hearing, but my suggestion to them is to get your finalized numbers, come in here and make your proposal to the Board of Selectmen, uh, yes. and let the Board of Selectmen hold the public hearing. Yes. That, that was my suggestion to them. That is the appropriate way to do it. Yes, yes for sure. So that's the plan. I'm hoping to have... Um, better numbers next week. Okay, that's um, fine. But I'll I want to make sure that we... All right, so I'll, I'll see if I can find out what the deadline is. I'll, I'll do a little I've bit. I've got it. I've, it uh, Caroline emailed it to us. Oh, okay, and then I'll look at there's it. There's a Google Calendar that she set up that has all of that in there. Oh, yep. I just don't know if I can access it from my That's no, okay, phone, I'll look at so, it. But that's, um, that's where if we're going. I don't um, so... Okay, so you've been busy. So we did For that. Sure. Um, Next one is um, request for disbursement for CASA um, for five hundred dollars. Um, again, I think that's in the in the yep. budget. So this is the court appointed special advocates. If I remember what it stands for, they're um, they're an organization that um, supports um, uh, victims of sexual assault and violence, a lot of children mostly, I think. 
put their volunteers that go in and assist the kids in, in course. Oh, okay. But they, they provide information on what services they provide to the town. So that's why we have traditional, unless there's objection on the side. No. Good. Okay, that was for $500. That mm -hmm. was budgeted for welfare. Um, town of Rollins for medical coverage rates, January 2019 medical. Um, so this must just, it needs a signature. I guess it's just the authorizing that we can go forward with that. The rates are on the other side. Okay, this is um, setting up the rates for uh, for this year, for years, for yeah. 2019. And it's... Um, is that with our change, though? Oh. Yes? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Monthly rates continue to medical group coverage separate to applicable health trust minimum participation requirements. Member agrees that the coverage elected here and are subject to the terms and conditions of membership. Um, member are hereby authorized, this is the, what we're signing really. Mm -hmm. Member are hereby authorized is what we're doing authorizes health trust to execute and deliver any and all documents necessary to effectuate the enrollment of members and as employees into the plans listed on this transmittal. So that's why we're signing it. Okay, because we did a change. That's right. Well, no, we, we sign it every year anyways, just so they get, this This allows the plans to be executed. They, they, get, they tell us what the rates are. Mm -hmm. and we have to sign it every year so that they can reach out to our employees. Giving them information on their health insurance. But our, did our change in the policy reflect that? Yeah, AB20. That's what we could have used to be at AB10. Yeah, okay. Now we're at All AB20, right. so we okay. haven't changed it. Okay. So we're good. Okay. For the number. Purchase order 1505 to SHI for two monitors for a price of 267.40 total, and for one new computer for the admin assistant bookkeeper. Current computer is five plus years old, having memory issues, mouse mal malfunctioning. For 666.40 with a total of 933.80 to hit the IT support hardware. Right, I'll second that. So. Um, this is to cover um, uh, the new computer for um, Caroline. Mm -hmm. um, when I, I asked her about it, um, Tom, Tom Lavelle, our IT person, said mm -hmm. that the reason she's having the issue with the mouse, I said, well, can we just buy a new $20 mouse mm -hmm. or whatever? So he said, no, it's, um, it's a memory issue. Um, the, 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 the computer has reached its capacity five years old, mm -hmm. there's time for a new one. Mm -hmm. That's why the mouse is freezing, or you'll move it. I've run into this myself, I didn't realize that's what it was. And it, it will take like 30 seconds to actually move, and you'll find it slowly it's getting move across the screen, like see a little trail. <laughs> <laughs> that's um, it's a memory issue. You've, mm -hmm. hmm. you've reached your capacity, apparently, so. Well, she's been having, she's been having a lot too. of issues this too, was just, so. She was just mentioning this. Yep. I think I asked for put on this, so I didn't forget about it. I sure it's really yeah. helpful. It's on the purchase order. So, anyways, um, all right. So it's been moved and seconded. Any other discussion mm -hmm. of purchase order 1505? We have money in the IT line to support it. So, mm -hmm. all, right, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. All right. So, so that, what was the total? I'm sorry. Nine thirty-three eighty. Okay, so I have another purchase order, number 1506, uh, cards for the Historical Committee reimbursement. 219.94 is the price, and it's going to Kristen, say the last name. Okay. Oh, Thank Thank you. Thank you. I'm trying to remember who did it, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so my other question Two is... Two minutes first, actually. But. Yes, Does the money come out of the historical committee's account? So we just we used to have to do this because we okay. 
Alright. So. Did you move it? I did. I'll second it. So we bought more cards. We had a 60% off coupon, I think. 50%? Either way, yeah. it was a substantial amount off, and we picked the songs through them quickly. Awesome. So we wanted some more for uh, for our Christmas. Awesome. So yeah. We've been selling them. I sold quite a few down at the mill this weekend. Oh, nice. I Good. shouldn't say we. The chairman city. and the secretary. <laughs> mostly, <laughs> mostly um, city of Leopold sold them. Um, yeah, they're great. Yeah, they are great. So anyway, all right, so there's money in the account. And this, I think, if I remember correctly, by spending two nineteen ninety four, we were looking at making four something. It was, awesome. yeah, so it's, we've been, you know, the community's been trying to, you know, raise money for mm -hmm. small projects around town, so, and not have to ask the town for, for this money. So anyways, all right, so money's in the account to cover. So all those in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, opposed. All right, let me go the dead horse. And normally we would have come with something beforehand, but the coupon expired, so. Mm -hmm. Kristen bought them on our own. So. All right, uh, request for disbursement for $1,500 to the Roswell Public Library. Internet service, collection de development, programming, and library supplies. All right. All right without objection, we will. Mm -hmm. So it's the final disbursement for the year, it looks like. Yeah. Attached is a final request for disbursement for the library for 2018. Purchase order 1504 for Haley Door, overhead door service, contract for highway for five doors, fire for six doors, police for two doors, for a total of $1,500. And it's coming, it's being divided by, uh, by three mm -hmm. based on the amount of doors mm -hmm. they have. So, let me second that first of all. I'll yeah. second that and explain it. So it's not, it's, it's coming out of all three departments. Um, divided by the uh, determined by the number of doors they have. So, but the grand total is 1,500. So we will have our yearly maintenance contract again for mm -hmm. those overhead doors, which is important. All right. So all those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. All right. Purchase order 1522, Green Shadows Property Maintenance for the cemetery, one new town, old town, mowing and trimming, 118 for 1345 and one new town and old town fall cleanup for 825 for a total of 2170 Second. Okay. So that comes out of the trustees. Yep. budget, I'm assuming that's the final trim of the year. I would assume, because <laughs> so, we have Yeah, unless they're, they're shoveling, yeah. but anyway, for plowing, I guess. All right, so purchase order 1522 has been moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, opposed? All right. Purchase order 1556. To LHS Associates, this is a programming of the election. I'm not quite sure I understand what that means, but um, the invoice is attached. Um, what do they have to code things in and stuff? Okay. Um, the price is seven hundred and seventy-nine dollars and thirty cents. All right, I'll second. So they um, they have to uh, they code the machine. Mm -hmm. So that was the seven thirty seven thirty-nine. Mm -hmm. And then she would have got some paper over her, and then some pens, things like that. So. Okay. So it's something that happens at every election yeah. but for the machine. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And depending on um, the number of ballots and things, it costs 
It goes up and down depending on oh. the okay. coating, depending on. Um, so it's going to be like triple that come. Uh, it's going to be more. Here. I don't. I don't. I don't know how much it will be, but it could possibly be more. So, all right. So first order fifteen fifty six is removed and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 from Ryan um, solutions and taxing problems. They're, it's referencing docket 29163-17 PT for 851 Central Avenue. Yep. They're respectfully requesting reconsideration on a hearing motion by the board dated October 10th. Yep. Do you want me to read this whole thing? No, nope. so okay. this is a, this is a letter to the Board of Tax and Land Appeal yep. on behalf of the company that does the um, abatements for requests for the, that property on Portland Avenue mm -hmm. uh, or Central Avenue? Central right? Avenue, yeah. Um, they're appealing our, our, decision. our decision to the. Yeah. So this so is we just don't do anything. FYI. Just, yeah. okay. Avatar is aware of it and okay. are awaiting the decision of the BLCA whether or not to move forward. Okay, Stratford County Commissioners to. Uh, Enclosed is your also 2018 county tax appropriation. Okay. Um, so it is for 722550 mm -hmm. What is that that this is for again? So that's the county levy. So every year we get, so as part of our, our local property tax, we have both the school portion, the town portion, the county portion, yeah. and the state our education grant portion, and that's, that's what the town gets charged for this year for the county. So they don't do it by, they don't do it uh, twice a year, it's, it's once a year. So. Well, it is funny because I saw Vern's report and it was like half of that, okay. half that money that he was anticipating paying this year. When we met last week with Vern. Oh, that's yeah, what I had, a meeting yeah. with Vern. That's okay. right, that was my other meeting. Okay. Um, I thought it was almost half of that, though. I don't know, I don't, I don't know what he said. So. Well, he gave us what he's anticipating paying for the rest of the year, and he's looking for us to get a, um, a line of credit. Yeah. Anyway, but we have to sign it. Before we receive it, yeah. And we will pay it by uh, the... Uh, yeah. 17th of December, I believe, is when it's due. Right? Carolyn's? Can you see? Is she still here? 17th of December. No, she she left. left. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, God, I don't know if I can get around. Well, we're, we're, we were anticipating close to this, so. Okay. I'll drop them an email tonight and ask them if that's. But this is not a, uh, this is not new. This is not. Yeah. Unless he was trying to. the dollar amount changes from yeah. year to year, but. Okay. So the three of us need to sign this, so. Okay. So basically we, so to the treasurer of Stratford County, this will acknowledge our receipt of your warrant issued on November 9, 2018, in the sum of $722,550, being the just portion of the Stratford County tax for 2018 assessed against the town of Rollinsford. Yeah, no, this time of year we always, there's always cash flow issues yep. with uh, the last two months of the year. Could you have what, about 400000 or so going to the school? Mm -hmm. um, you have the county levy, which is anywhere between six and 700000 depending on the year. And then uh, there's other small checks, and we hold certain checks and mm -hmm. certain things. I mean, it's... This is not a new problem. So. And it's just a long day. What if an Xfinity? Changes from Xfinity, I'm shocked. Yeah. And, uh, 
we usually get a, two or three of these a week, so I'm not really worried about it. Let's see. I know. Let's see. We're losing Fuse. I don't know what Fuse is, so I guess I'm not all broken up about it. The channel, I'm assuming. And, um, well, if you enjoyed Fuse, I'm sorry, folks, on January 1st. You're not going to enjoy it any longer. So. <laughs> okay, so the fees are going to go up. That's the other letter. From I'm shocked. From them. As a result, starting in December 20th, 18 prices for certain services and fees will be increasing, including broadcast TV fee and regional sports network fee. I'm paying it without my fees. <laughs> While some prices may increase, we continue to invest in technology and we're working hard to bring our customers great value every day. Um, I don't know. It's not telling me why it's going to go up. It's just a. That, 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 that. Yeah. I guess this is all the. Oh, here's a new part. Oh, this is for people, though, not for us, right? I mean, this is so this is. They always send it because. Because we get it. We allow them to operate in our community. Yeah. They have a monopoly on on um, right. on on who can purchase cable television services in the community. They don't have two options at the moment, so but um yeah. Okay. It's the only true looks like uh, death and taxes, um, your cable bill will always go up as well. Yeah. That's it. The That's only, your mail. Only definite things in this life. And you'll lose fees. I'm sorry. I don't know what it is. I've been here long enough. I'm just going to joke about it. So, okay. did, did we, um, did we not talk about the junkyard? Do we not have to We didn't talk about the junkyard. Thank you for bringing me back. You know, look at this I giant thought you star. Wanted to, did, I put it right next to it, too. Didn't we want to wait and, and talk to, um, the, um, inspector? I thought you wanted to wait. Is that what we wanted to do? Um, because the camper on Prospect, we don't have an update on that either. We don't. I can give you an update on it though. I drove by it um, last night, maybe. It's still there. And it's still there with lights on and people in it at night. Okay. I wanted to knock, stop, and knock on the door of the house and ask them why they were ignoring us or lying to us. But my <laughs> wife told me it was a bad idea. So <laughs> we kept driving down the street. She was right. I mean, it wasn't very rude, and yeah. that's what Tom was for. So. Yeah. But yes, there are people in it. I mean, it's clear. You could see people. There were lights on, and there were people walking around. And it's not like, and there's cars parked in front of it every night. So. So what is what is the? I shouldn't be looking into this, but what is the rules about having vehicles that are not um, functional? And I know that we had the problem on Rollins Road, and yep. that was the extreme. Yeah. But there are. <laughs> There were places in town, because when I've been driving around to look at the trailers and all of those other things, I've found, noticed that there's some other ones that are just, they're doing the they're same bad, thing. They're bad, just not to that level. But they're not to that level. So when do you, when you do you let right. someone get away with it? And when you are allowed by the zoning ordinance, or the town ordinance, rather, to have one unregistered vehicle on your property. Be an antique car you're restoring, mm -hmm, whatever. Mm -hmm. Be a junker that you're trying to fix up for your kid, whatever. You're allowed one. Okay. We have a problem on Foundry Street, just to let you know. Mm -hmm. Is there a box trailer in that same yard? Yes. Okay. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So I think there's four. I wasn't sure if they were ready or not. So. Well, there's grass growing all around them. <laughs> Probably not. So, I mean, so I'm just now, saying I don't know what the rules are and if that's acceptable. We should, no, it's not. So we should send Tom. We should. Let Tom know what the property is. It would ask him four. to go over and yeah. No, it's not. Yeah. Okay. You know the 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 way we hear about these things is normally the neighbors complain. Mm -hmm. Or we go by and we see it. Mm -hmm. Um so it's hard to try to police, you know, every single property. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, we also don't want to be coming to it. Well I know, <laughs> I know. The, I the, that. I get that. But yeah, no, it's there's an ordinance and it detracts from your neighbor's uh, property values. If you do that, yeah. and your quality of life, I mean, yeah. you don't really want to be looking at a junk or whatever. You don't look at one of those, so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the other one was cars and junk. I mean, that clearly was. Oh, and it's still not fitting. And no, it's, it's not. They're, um, sure, they're working on it. Okay. It's covering a blanket of snow at the moment, I guess. Yeah. Okay. 
Anyway, I just wanted to find out what the rules were. Okay. One. I did see. Yeah. You're not supposed to have appliances and mm -hmm. car parts and whatever else scattered on your front lawn either. Mm -hmm. So. But we got to send Tom to those places. So, and you know, Tom will follow, will send letters, follow up letters, a little sterner. But when people ignore us, then we have to send them letters from our legal counsel, which then incurs costs. So that's why I think we've been trying to be a little judicious. But yeah, I think that's what Tom said. He had to talk to them about yep. the Rollins or one. Yep. But there should be an equal um, application of the law. So if we're telling the people on Rollins Road they need to uh, clean up their yard, then Boundary Street should be too. Mm -hmm. But yes, no, there was, um, I don't, was it, it wasn't, um, it wasn't Rollins Road that Tom was talking about following up the legal counsel, right? It was, um, yeah, no, it was, was it Rollins? Right. I thought it was the camper that. No, no, it was the one that we, because they had already sent him a letter, supposedly sent him a letter of compliance. Well, they said they were complying, he needs to go back over and double check. And he went over and they and still had things they needed to clean up. Yeah, and so he that's was going to talk to the lawyers and see was, if yeah. they're going to send a, another letter, I thought. Ongoing. Yeah. So. That's all I have. <laughs> that's enough, right? That is. It is. All right. So let's talk about, so we, that was the camper. So this, and this is a junkyard, right? So I feel bad because Miles isn't here. Uh, we can review, we, we should review again with with, um, with Mr. Clark, where I can tell you where, where I'm thinking. As a condition of, of us considering moving forward with his application for renewal to operate that junk air, at the very least, he needs to go before the planning board and go through the site review process as to the use of the other non conforming use of the, the, uh, the towing business. He is allowed by the, uh, the grandfathered use to operate between 9 and 5, mm -hmm. and he can tow vehicles directly related to the junkyard business Correct. between 9 and 5. Okay. He is not authorized, and I'm sorry he's been doing it for 17 years, but I'm not going to take responsibility for why it never happened before, but it's going to happen now, in my opinion, it needs to happen now. He needs to be held accountable for operating that business down there. Now, I understand people are upset that they think that people are mistreated with fees and things like that. That's a they need to follow their that's a civil matter. That exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I and mean, I I don't particularly care for that either, but mm -hmm. I'm more concerned with the fact that he is operating a non authorized he has a non authorized use going on there. Mm -hmm. um, and he's abusing the grandfathered use. He's getting around it by abusing the the, the grandfather use of operating a junkyard in a, in a zone where they're not allowed. In fact, they're not allowed anywhere except by special exemption in this town. Mm -hmm. And it may come to it that we need to work um, with the planning board to, do, uh, to come up with a new junkyard ordinance, a standalone yeah, ordinance. I think so too. To deal with this because um, he may be operating a licensed junkyard. But I would say that there's at least an unlicensed junkyard operating on Clement Road. Mm -hmm. There, are <laughs> I don't think you can call it anything but a junkyard at 112 Rollins Road. Mm -hmm. or 12, I don't know. Like the poor people next door can't claim for something. That's one kind of thing. Um, and then there might be other places too. But I think we'd have more teeth if we if we seriously consider enacting a standalone. Junkyard or <laughs> so, but at the very least, in my humble opinion, we needed to tell Mr. Castanelli that if he if he wants to be considered for renewal by this board, that he has to uh, he has to go before the planning board and work out that process. So, my my concern is that he gets it all fancied up when it's time for renewal, yep. and then it goes downhill yep. from then on. So, I mean. I think that he need. We need to do our due diligence yes. and send over an inspector more often. Yes, and I also believe that he needs to be required to um, test his soil or his water 
many times within a year, and that should be part of his his license or whatever. If I don't can. see, I, I don't disagree with James. I think that he should be testing whatever is going on over there. But I'm I'm not sure if that's our responsibility or if it's DDS's. I don't I don't know. Okay. They may already be doing it. Okay. It may be a condition of. Um, the state. The state. Okay. So right. I don't know. But we should be looking into that. You're absolutely right. We're kind of kind of but I just think that he, and you know, he says he lives there, and he never hears any of this stuff going around. Well, we have 300 cases where the police have been in there. How can you not hear that? I mean, he he can't be living there if he hasn't heard what's going on there or see no. red lights. I mean, blue lights. Yeah, no, no, he there. told us two different things when he came before us. Yeah. I he mean, told you that he didn't live there when I asked him the same exact question. Yeah. He said he did live there. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. So I mean, I just think that. But I. The activity alone of that our yep. police department has to, and they just said he had another one last week. Well, I mean, so I I understand the frustration of the police department. I'm trying to separate it though, in my mind. There are there are two separate issues to me. There are his, I guess what some people would call unsavory business practices. Uh, I've never experienced it. I don't know if it's true or not. I know that the police have to go down and respond to some of those complaints. But um, I'm more concerned with him operating outside of the law. Mm -hmm. He's not allowed to be operating that business there. He's, uh, he's allowed to have a junkyard, and he's allowed to tow cars mm -hmm. in and out for the junkyard. He's not allowed to be doing 24 hours, seven days a week, 365 days a yeah. year, towing for AAA yeah. out, of, out of that facility. Right. That's what bothers me. I mean, I, I mean, personally, I'm appalled by his business practices. If, it's, if what I heard was true, mm -hmm. I'm appalled. But I, if he meets the requirements of, of, of and I don't think he does at the moment, mm -hmm. of, of operating in a clean, cleanly manner, and all the, meeting all of those requirements. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I I wouldn't use his services, mm -hmm. but that's all I can do, I think. In my mind, that's all I can do as a citizen is just not use his services mm -hmm. and, and, and encourage others not to. But, I mean, as a municipal official, I think we just have to hold him accountable for what we can hold him accountable for. And, and I'm trying to, so I'm trying, I, I keep hearing what all the abutters are saying, mm -hmm. and, and, and I'm trying to sort of weed through I mean, I get it. If I lived next door to it, I'd be so angry every day. I mean, I, I don't know if I ever, I would have either moved or I don't know what I would have done by now. I don't think I could have stayed there, but I don't know if I'd ever go and sell the house next door. But, um, I, I don't think you can, it's, I, I think you have to separate. I don't think you can hold him. I don't want him to think that I'm making him go through this process. Well, I, I want him to go through this process. The board's going to decide. I don't want to think I'm making him go through this process because I don't like his business practices. And the fact that you know, like he, he charges people different rates here and there. He, his drivers are rude. Whatever we heard last week, mm -hmm. right? Whatever, how many weeks ago it was. I, I, really, it's not that to me. It is the fact that he knows he's not supposed to be operating that business there. And he said it himself, I've been running for 17 years, and sort of just shrugged. Well, I get that, but there's new leadership in this town. Mm -hmm that's going to take these complaints seriously and we're going to do something about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I hope we're going to do something about it. I'm not going to, I can't speak to why it didn't happen before, but it needs to happen now. So that's why I'm really trying to separate. I don't want them to think we're, we're going after them if we don't like them. Uh, that's not it for me. So, uh, so the, the other thing is though, is the junkyard. The junkyard is right now um, not um, licensed. Why don't we shut them down? See, I don't know if it, I don't know. I think well, we'd have well, we ask the municipal association if we can. I don't know if, if it's his fault that the, our process isn't the best process. Mm -hmm. So um, we're trying to get better at it, but it's not a hundred percent right. I think as part of this new, in my mind, creating a junkyard ordinance, part of that would be. You have to have your application into the select board by a date certain, mm -hmm. or to the building inspector by a date certain, right? For 
process. Mm -hmm. If you don't, he usually comes in like the day before mm -hmm. and hands it to it. Mm -hmm. Well, that's legal under our, the way we've, we've been we've, our, in our practice, the way we've been operating for years. So I, I, I'm, I'm hesitant to shut him down because we've been going through the machinations of, of trying to get him compliant and, and, and working back and forth with him. Okay. So I. So I'm you think ownership is doing... also in the town of I think so. Okay. I really right. do. I, I, mean, I, I I'm I trying to be fair. I mean, I, I'm going to be honest with you. After I left that hearing, or after that hearing was over, if I had the power to, I probably shouldn't say this out loud, but I'm going to know anyways, I'd shut him down. I was appalled by everything I heard. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, that, that's not how we think we can operate. We have to be fair to everyone. Well, I agree. I mean, but... Equal application of the law, right? So. But I, he I, only cleans up at the, at the end where he's... His, right. His, see, so he's not he following the, the rules of this. Very bare minimum. Right. And we've been very lenient with him over the years. We have. Yep. The, the first, my first year on the board, I was the junior member. I used to have to open the mail, and I had to go do the welfare, and I had to go open. I mean, I had to go inspect the junk here. Well, I'm not Great. doing that. So just you don't have to. That's my <laughs> problem now. So no. So, which. What do I know about inspecting uh, a junk yard? No, I know. What, what did any of the other people that came before me know about you know, inspecting a junk yard? Yep. So, you know, I go over with this checklist. I'm like, well, you got to do this, you got to do that. Oh, I'm doing this here. See, I'm doing it. I'm like, I come back and report to the board, and, I, and I'm told, well, you know, he's trying. Like, well, okay, I guess he's trying, but has he met it? Well, we're not going to close him down. Like, okay. So, but we can't keep on letting it go on and on and on now. So that's the thing is we either say, okay, he met all of these things that needed to be done. Right. He's he's done what he's supposed to do for the junkyard. Right. And so we take care of that problem. Yeah. But now we also have another problem where we, so you can't contingent the junkyard to the towing business being at the same location. The, storing the trucks there, waiting for the calls, and it's 24 hours, 7 days a week, 52 weeks in a year. That is going to be going, so while it's not, yeah. um, that's not been approved. Right. So you have to go before the planning or zoning or whatever. Yeah. And in that process right now, you have to remove those trucks. Yes, that's why I agree with that. So we need to do that action as well. And so, and when he goes through all of the processes and... Either he gets denied or approved, okay. right? So, so I think we need to say so you have to cease and desist anything to do with the towing, except they could tow there during eight to five. Yep. Was right. it Monday through Saturday or whatever it is? Let's look at the agreement again. Yeah. Yeah, but I think it's I think it's Monday. It was Monday Friday. Yeah. It could be Saturday. I thought but someone said something. About definitely Saturday. not Sunday, but, but and it's nine know, to five. So, so you suspend. Can, yeah. 7 towing. And remove. Towing operation. Well, if he stores the trucks behind the screened area in the junkyard, if he's not using them, I mean, I, I don't know how you stop that. But we could ask Tom with us if we well, can. Well, as long as the gate's closed, I don't know. Right, yeah. Right? Right. But... The problem is, if they stay there and they don't have the license to be a towing in that building, yeah. you're still going to have the noise, and you're going to still have 24 hours a day. And yeah. one of the complaints of the one of the residents was that yeah. clanging up the, you know, the right. chains right. and the you know, in and out and the revving the tires. Well, they shouldn't be going in and out after five. Though. No, I'm sorry. Even if they keep the trucks there. Towing. Towing. They shouldn't do the, but the suspending the operation. But it has to go away. They have to go somewhere else and store them. I don't care if he parks them out front or out back. I, mean, I do. As long as he's not using them. What well, it? The towing? Yeah. Of course he's going to use them. He's 24. Well, then he should be arrested. Well, I'm just saying. He if we should suspend he operations, well, then if, then if they're told they're not allowed to operate out of there and they operate out of there, then you've got something else you can. But I think he should be told that he has to relocate them until he gets approval to have yeah. towing out of there. We, can talk, we should check with Tom and see if we yeah. can do that. But because at the very you least, have to yeah, there. Nothing's going to change. You're going to just have more calls from the police department. And go into it. You'd More than likely, but yeah. I want to make sure it's legal to to do that. He so. doesn't have a license to operate towing. I mean, the right. um, AAA there. Correct. Their trucks. So they shouldn't right. be stored there because it's still operating out of there. Not if they're 
not in service. But well, they're in service. Oh, you're talking about the ones what that I'm aren't saying, in service? What I'm saying is, he, he operates, I don't know how many trucks, let's just say five for the sake of argument. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how many it is. If, he's, if we're telling him he has to suspend his 24-hour towing service out of there, right? he can't operate out of there. He can leave his trucks there and, 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 and lay off his workers and not, and not do towing. If he wants to go operate oh. out of a different city, that's their problem. But oh, okay, so you're saying that those trucks can sit there, but they can't move. Correct. He can't oh, I'm okay with that, service. but they cannot do a towing service. Right. So they cannot leave them there, come and get them, and he go can, and do the tow. He can do a tow that's associated with the junkyard between 9 and 5. Right. If he wants to use I one agree. of those trucks. I don't I know if AAA will look like that. But, but he's not going to stop his service, so we need to well, really that understand be, that. That, that either be. you stop your service at that location, or you relocate those trucks. Because we know he's not going to stop the service. Just spin that. Junkyard. License. Uh, renewal. Process is on hold. Pending. Site review. Pending, I'll just say, pretend, pretending, pending review by planning board. Approved by planning. Right? Well, that's what it just said, tell okay. for the notice. Okay. So he's yeah, the planning board, well, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, as a condition of his junkyard renewal process moving forward, it's on hold pending a review by the planning board of his non conforming use. This is what I have. Suspend the operations for 20, his, his towing operations until further notice. Junkyard license renewal process is on hold pending review by planning board of non conforming use. Uh, if it's found that he can do it, so. check with the Municipal Association or the Department of Environmental Services to see if he's allowed to continue operating his junkyard while his application is under review. Okay. I mean, if the planning board says he can have his towing, then then it's a done deal and he can, right? Yep. But he's got to get that permission. Correct. So it it's in his ballpark. To, to it's up to him. If he wants, if yeah. he wants, well, so it's a twofold thing. There's whether or not he wants to be able to continue operating a junkyard in our community mm -hmm. is conditioned on on him going. To, we're not even going to consider his application any further, mm -hmm. and it's going to be put on hold until he goes and makes application to the planning board. Mm -hmm. At which time we will then start the review process again. Mm -hmm. um, if he doesn't do this, then we're not, as far as I'm concerned, we're not going to renew his license. Mm -hmm. He's not going to be able to operate in the town anymore. Mm -hmm. A junkyard. Mm -hmm. um, if the planning board, after hearing from the owner and, and the abutters, mm -hmm. decide that it, it is appropriate to allow him to operate that business, then yeah, I mean, he'll be proved the proper way he can operate his business. Both businesses. Both businesses. Well, then.
then we can restart the renewal process. Right, so, right. But I'm not going to waste any more of Tom's time or, yeah. or our time on, on his renewal until he gets the plan. Right. That's my opinion. Yeah, no, I... I if you agree. agree with that, yeah. we don't... We just need to, have to do wait. something. We just have to go forward and so, get it. So what I'd like to do is forward this information to Mr. Clark and have him start working on it. Okay. Um, I, I, I don't like to do things... I don't think it's fair to do things like this at when one of the members is absent. Mm -hmm. um, well, we can wait and go over it with well, else. I don't, I don't care. I'd like to have Tom start working on it, at mm -hmm. least drafting something. But not something. Okay. Yeah, and then we can give him the go-ahead maybe next Monday. Yeah. And then Miles can add his, his opinion to him as well. Mm -hmm. um, I do that for anybody. I don't think yeah. it's... I don't no, think it's, I agree. I just think we have, to, we have to get this resolved one way or the other. Oh, sure. You I mean, know, well, it's not fair to the business owner. Right. And it's not fair to, to the abutters, for right? sure. Exactly. I mean, and he it, heard us, I think, result. that it's a non-compliance and you need to go forward. <sighs> yeah. I, you know, so. I, uh, I, uh, I, I don't know how you don't know what your employees are doing or uh, how you can honestly say as a business owner of any kind, how am I to be responsible for my employee's yes. actions? Yeah. I, I know. That, that doesn't sit well with me. So, yeah. but that is a separate issue from uh, what he's facing here. But I just mm -hmm. I'm shocked, absolutely shocked. But that's his business, mm -hmm. not mine. So, anywho, anything else for us to talk about? Thank you for reminding me that I didn't want to talk about this. I didn't want to make Bob and Mark and George and all have to sit through it. I didn't want to. But. All right. I'm good. Well then, community input. I don't have any money for you. I saw you walk in and I went like this. It wasn't because you walked in the room. I should have said that earlier. I got the money for the magnets. I'm sorry. That's okay. I have a question for the board. Sure. Um, when would you like like the information? When do, does somebody have to come before the board if we want money transferred? Like we want the select board tr to transfer money into the trustee account for the historical committee. Right. Um, by the end of the year. Okay. By the end of the fiscal year, so that's the end of the calendar year. Um, so we had, like, so, I don't remember how much we had on them before, like three dollars I will $3, check it maybe. in with this. But we've been selling bumper, not ma uh, magnets and no cards. No cards. Bumper that's next. Um, probably <laughs> t-shirts or whatever. Um, so we've made money. So I know that Caroline has been keeping an accounting of what's been going in. So uh, let's say... Doesn't it have to go through the audit first? No? No, I don't think so. It will be audited to make sure that was one really. But why don't we say like the first week in December? Just so we don't. And then we can... Because the select board has license over that fund. That it might be the week after. What? I have a conflict. It has to happen before the end of the year. Yeah. So, so would you make two deposits then? Because if you don't, if you get... What happens when you get something, you know, right after you make that deposit or a transfer? And you get some for the rest of the year. Do you make another transfer? Well, I, what I want to I want to make sure we don't lose sight of it. So if she comes in at the beginning of the month, mm -hmm. it stays on our radar. Mm -hmm. we can, so, but if we sell things, we don't have to physically do the transfer. It has to happen before the end of the year. So. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And money going over year to year. Like if the rec committee can't spend all of their um, grant money. Right. And it goes into uh, uh, d when do do I come at the same time and ask you to hold that over for the next year or you can't okay it has to go into, it'll go into fund balance to offset okay. it. well potentially to offset taxes I would assume what we would do that could be problematic for her though because this is grant money we should go back and look at the requirements of the grant. And you couldn't get somebody else? You I am working on it. Okay. So like if it was for like sports equipment, Celia, and it said we had to buy sports equipment, you guys need to go buy some sports equipment. It's for, it was for an grant. enrichment class. It things. was for an enrichment oh, class, yeah, and the um, no. person that we were speaking to pulled out for oh, our no. class in December oh. to spend the rest of our money. So now yeah. we're scrambling oh, no. to find somebody who can offer an enrichment class in December. <laughs> and hopefully have people come too. So was that was it a, like a private person gave us?
us money for this, or was it like a it, bank it was, or something? It was a bank. Yeah. It was a financial institution. So yeah. we should go back and look at. Yeah, what I you said. Unfortunately, he's right because Rec doesn't have the same kind of accounts that you ha are talking about when we're talking about doing that for next year. Um, but um, it wasn't anybody's fault. The efforts were definitely made. So unfortunately, though, it doesn't help. Yeah. Um, so, do you have the application still? I do. Or the grant? Or and it's safe. And it's all safe to the drive. Under oh, the okay. So I can okay. call it up. Um, I have a couple Because the only other thing that could happen is that you would return the unspent balance back to the, to right. the organization that gave it. Right. Um, would be the only other alternative if you cannot get the, another program in place before the end of the year. And I did talk sensibly with this grantor, mm -hmm. and they did, said they did not necessarily want the money back and they would not verify to, to the degree that others do mm -hmm. that the money was spent as said. Huh. Well, the money would probably They said that they the trust us. To yeah, it as and you did organ. everything that you could possibly do, and I and I agree with that, that that's the case. The only thing, it wouldn't necessarily go to the fund balance as much as it would go to the recreation department because we're overspent anyway. So it would really actually apply to the to rec, which isn't it, it it's where it was going to go when it was asked for for rec. So it's not really going to the town's bottom line. It's just offsetting what we already had overspent anyway, and we're going to have to take it from. Some of, the Some of the other lines. So I don't think anything that we're doing is wrong, and it did go to the right um, account, so to say, and the efforts were all that you could do. You did and everything that you could do to have something happen with the remaining of these funds, and it's just out of your control. So you wouldn't be able to use it for something else then? Yeah. If you. If the rec lines were overspent anyways, and we were we took money, we moved money in other parts of the town budget to cover those expenses, then we would just absorb whatever money you had left over to cover the, the, the budget, the, offset the lines that were budgeted that we took the money from. But in the end of the day, it's, the money's going to go to the general to fund. To so, yeah, it is, but really yeah. it's to offset rec. Rec is meeting next week, so hopefully I'll have yeah. options A, B, and C the 27th of November. So oh, is that Tuesday night or Wednesday? Wednesday night, the budget committee meeting, so that's a bad idea. 27th is a Tuesday. 27th yes. is okay. a Tuesday. I'll write that down. Um, so hopefully we'll have something um, to pick from and see if there's a viable okay. option by the end of the year right. at that meeting. Okay. Wouldn't break our heart <laughs> that if you didn't find something else to spend it on, seeing that we've already used... Other town money is offset. Correct. So no, that would be wouldn't be a bad thing. Okay. Unless there's seriously something that is kind of what Richie the kid said, and that's what the money was for. I mean, I get that, but if you can't, if you've already done your due diligence, you can't find anything. It'd be wonderful if you didn't find anything else. That's <laughs> all I'm saying. Considering we we already spent the money. So. Point taken. Uh, just curi just out of curiosity, when was the space needs meeting? You mean the police department? Oh, the police. Okay. Right. The committee. It was last week, but it was just it was just a review information. I didn't post it because I didn't think I had to. Why do I have to? We're a sure, committee. Post it. Yeah. Why? Because it's, it's, it's a committee that's been um, created by the select board to make recommendations and stuff. So you have to follow all the. Uh, Oh, the, uh, my the bad. Right, so. Sorry. Well, we there weren't going to have. There is a, a learning curve. Well, we so weren't going to have enough people, and so we're just going to be me and right. It was just going to be me and the chief talking, and then um, Kim was able to make it. She got a flight earlier, so it was after the. It, it was the, the day. Yeah, my fault. Sorry. So any any of those committees, like so, like the rec or any of the ad hoc committees that are created mm -hmm. by. The select board to make recommendations to the select board. I didn't think you had to for a workshop, though. Yeah, they, they should be noticed. Okay. They're all, should all be public meetings. All right. And the other thing is, is um, we have AAA, and the last 
few times we've ever called AAA, they won't even recommend Cass. I don't know where he's getting AAA business from because they take us out of South Berwick. They don't take us out of him. I have no idea. He's not listed. I don't know anything it's about... Vehicle, um, though. Yeah, I, I don't, don't know. So, what about that skating rink liner? The wreck? Yeah. Oh, we, with the wreck money. Oh, well, we the, have been. It's ruined. It was t right. discussed at the last wreck meeting. I would suggest oh. you check the um, minutes about the winter budget line and what we will be doing with that. I already talked to him about it. But we have to do something quick, so I guess we'll talk about it next week when we have a meeting. Okay, back over here. I shall. <laughs> well, because there is money to sell, and we already said it. Well, okay. I don't know if they they want to reprioritize, but there's money set aside for winter wreck that they might be able to buy their liner with already. So. Okay. And some of, some of the winter wreck money was spent at the beginning of the year for basketball right. that the kids did. So oh. the full amount for the winter wreck has um, gone down. It's not the yeah. what's recorded in the book. Correct. Okay. So you'll have a. Yeah. Well, we're t we're talking about the winter carnival is what we're talking about. So. Oh, I see. Get some rich. Well, winter has already arrived, so I know. Probably got another Faster than I thought. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to have another storm tonight, apparently. So. Yeah. So yeah. we will talk about it on Tuesday. Yep. Yeah. Lots of things to discuss. Any other? Charlie? Might as well <laughs> close out the loop, no? No comment. <laughs> Alrighty, well then we will, by uh, consensus, we will uh, adjourn at 9.20. A late one. Yeah.